Hello. Hello, anyone. Hello. We're here. Most of us are queer. Huh. I mean, that's like half true. Half of us are queer. Well, Tyrkus is only half queer. So it's. You'd be like... half queer. What? <laughs> queer isn't gay. I mean, it, 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 it's it's colloquially gay. Hi, Rachel. Hi. You're colloquially gay. Maybe. Hey. I'll fuck you in the cloaca. <laughs> We're uh, still expecting another party member. Again. Maybe. I mean, he was just playing League with you. Where'd he go? He died. Good. He has the Rona. The Macarona? Macarona and cheese. Alright, are we just gonna- are we gonna start them? Let me eat my fucking muffin! Let me eat his fucking muffin! <laughs> <laughs> what kind of muffin do you have? Uh, wild berry. Wild Jesus. berry. See, I like I like strawberry sweeter. and blueberry in it. Like I like I like th more th more things like candied muffins rather than like fruit muffins. What the fuck? We just talked about intermittent fasting, and we're talking and like you're telling me what the fuck? I'm not gonna eat a candy. You muffin. don't have to. It's it's about calories, man. I know. It doesn't matter That's what why I'm you eat. A singular muffin. Just eat a celery stick. I do not eat vegetables. <laughs> Anti-vegetarian. If God wanted me, I don't eat vegetables like at all. If God wanted me to eat vegetables, if God wanted man to eat vegetables, he wouldn't have made the appendix a useless feature. I. Look, that's what? Information back there. What? Look up what? what it does. I don't. I don't. I don't know. What does it do? It's a vestigial organ that used to create uh, enzymes to help uh, process vegetables. I don't know. There's been a lot of claims about it. I'm not saying you're wrong. I just don't know because at one point they also said it was used to store seeds, and that's. That turned out to be quite false. I love that. I look up appendix on Wikipedia. One of the functions is maintaining gut flora. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, gl yeah, gut I flora. Don't, I, don't, I don't know if what I things, said was but... even remotely true. But Nan no, had uh... part of her appendix removed, and she can't eat seeds because without it, it can't break down. Without your appendix, you can't break down seeds. Dude, I'd be fucked. I I had I I, I had heard more that like seeds can get caught in the in like the the hole and then like it can cause infections and so maybe that's, that's not what she told me she told me that without the appendix when she eats these they just sit in her stomach see that's i not, don't that, that doesn't sound right it isn't that's uh why would the a uh, part of your intestinal lining affect the inside of your stomach and its function to move through food through mm -hmm. it doesn't right as if you were you would like consider all the other food that doesn't get processed correctly it just goes through you stuff doesn't sit around in your stomach unless your stomach is a problem nah you know well, what sits in your uh, stomach gum for huh. seven years for seven years what? yes what gum want? that chewy stuff somehow resists <laughs> seven years it, it resists so acid and, and and stomach muscle movements uh, yeah just sits it, it there sets up it sets up a tent there. sets up a tent and starts a fire you got roast some s'mores no that's that's for like rich people community. rich people who it, no once once you once you're rich you swallow mm -hmm. little campers for your gum that's no, that's no, that's that's, we that's got privilege a camper you got like um, oh you know okay. like the the uh Same the thing. gum like the the roll of gum that was in like the two like little cylinder that just 
was wound up together. Yeah. Like Blonde piece of gum. Yeah, yeah, My yeah. My canines are for <laughs> eating meat, and I don't <laughs> believe in I don't believe in eating vegetables. That's the con- government conspiracy. We theory. have molars. Right. Rachel Rachel pointed out molars are for for plant munching. Well, yes, but the problem is, is your body's not able to actually process plants in their entirety. I don't know. That sounds like something that uh, that of, no, people no, would say to what vegans. Happens to... What happens when you eat corn? I don't know. I don't oh. ask. I don't. I don't look in my stomach. Well, it just... doesn't. It doesn't fully digest it. It's not. It's not something that's you need to I look in your stomach. It's the way you look in. I, I mean, you look in your shit. Corn I mean, is, sure, corn, sure, sure, shit. sure. There might there might be parts that aren't as digested, but you still get nutrients from it. It still breaks yeah. down what it can break down. You but still get, get you know what I, you know we what I don't you meat. know what I don't see in my shit. You get different things from meat. You get different things from vegetables. You get different things from meat. Would I get you? everything I need. Apparently, people make the claim that certain vegetables carry a large amount of proteins. That one type of bean that it's does soybean. it. The white bean. There's a white bean, big bean. I don't fucking. I hate, beans. <laughs> I hate vegetables. Rachel says we also can't process uh, fur and bones. Sure. I don't eat fur nor bones, so not you're missing problem. out. You're missing out, man. Apparently, yeah, bone I marrow. Eat, I, apparently, I bone eat, marrow. Yeah, is supposed you know, to I'm be just really gonna be for you. I, I've eaten bone marrow, broken open chicken bones, and eaten some bone marrow. I've but, eaten um, fish bones against <laughs> what I my better judgment. But uh, maybe that's uh, why you shit blood. Let's just be like an owl. Grab the whole thing <laughs> raw, <laughs> put it in, just, and, then, and then just throw it. Just throw up the guy. bones hey, later. You just know, for, just for the experience. Just sunflower shells. Uh, probably. Um, have you have you swallowed uh, your sunflower uh, shells? You know he has. has. I've been eating sunflower seeds for like two decades. There's probably like a decent like layer of sunflower shell, like like remains just coating his stomach, providing a protective shield that can take him if he could eat. Oh He's... boy. They protect him. <laughs> if he eats more of them, that's like the same layer. This is a meme. I'm, I'm gonna look it up. That's the secret to that guy who like ate an airplane. He just like swallowed a bunch of sunflower seeds first. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, no, I'm not gonna be here for long. I am really not feeling good. Did you, you get you got the macaroni enough to get to Hazel's Meadow? That's all I care about. Did you catch the macaroni? Oh, definitely, man. What'd you get? Macaroni. French, that, French kiss and all that. Or all the information I've been reading states that I might have terminal cancer everywhere. But either way, <laughs> you go WebMD. Okay. <laughs> last time last D&D session the party arrived in the town of Vaness just on the outskirts of Dolvern Gale was very standoffish to the party did not really speak to them much had a small minor adventure where he was trying to get some rats to drink some weird concoction that he made during his al- alchemy uh, experiments to <laughs> no avail Cornered an armadillo. The armadillo fought back. <laughs> Grabbed him by the throat. Tried to force it. Didn't work. Uh, oh, Bartholo- Bartholomew is uh, back from the dead. True. So that is a cool thing, courtesy of the the Snufflewump materia. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, some news came through about the events that had happened in Dolvern, uh, asking the Sentinels to report to Aramor. The rest of the party also uh, would appear to have business in Aramor, or is at least following somebody who has business. For the time being, Yell has decided to remain with the party due to the similar uh, path that they are following. As the party left the town of Vanessa with a small group of survivors from Dolvern and a couple of guards, a large dragon flew over, bombarded the city, presumably killing the Greyfall forces that were there. And the party was camping out in the wilderness off to the side of the main road. That is where we begin the session. Everybody wakes up. Brand we new all day. Feel like shit. Uh no. Okay. Speak for yourself. Do I still feel like shit? No. 
Yeah. No. That's not my stick. No, it's spreading. It's your your look. You're getting little cat ears. <laughs> Our view has expanded. True. We don't know what any of this it's is. It's widescreen. There's a lot of farmland. I get my box and I pack it up and you know, get ready to go. There's someone in the chat called Lolly Neuter. Neuter or neuter? Neuter. Well, hello. Well, hello. That's Paul well, yeah. No. <laughs> no, that's no, that's uh, that's Alms. What are you talking about? No, neuter. No, but you. Neuter oh, is the, the wrong kind of lo lolly. <laughs> I can like interpret it however I like, though. Sure. That's the world we live in. So boxes acquired. What do you mean? Where you live in? What? What? It's a political joke saying that I can interpret it and all the information however I want to. Oh. Live in. Okay. Well, Kimiko lives in the box. They have a very advanced political system. Yeah. <laughs> in the Do they box, have socialism in your box? Um. Well, I mean, social nyanzum. No. Did you say social nyanzum? Yeah. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tell me, tell me about, tell me about your social social nyanzum. Well, see, well, first off, uh, we we make sure that everybody has snacks. <laughs> um, I knew that was coming. The new <laughs> Given, given to me to distribute to the others, as I am supreme owner. That's a lot of responsibility. <laughs> oh, yes, it is. I, I spend a lot of time doing <sighs> things. How do you, uh, how do you elect the office, or is it just a uh, monarchy? Elect? I mean, um, only the uh, best. Is allowed to be the ruler, and uh, that's not uh, anyone but me. <laughs> I know what's best for everybody. <laughs> yes. If they, snack overlord. Yes, and they, 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 if they think they know better, then you just get the masterful strike. <laughs> he who controls the snacks control the box. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that's enough for the press conference. Everybody's deported. <laughs> <laughs> We're building a out great of the box. Table. <laughs> out of the box. Out of the box. Out of the box. No. <laughs> okay. All right. So nobody has anything to say to each other. <laughs> You're really pushing for that, aren't you? <laughs> Do you have this moment? It's the morning. You can talk to the guards if you want. Talk to the people. They have their tents. You guys, oh, that's right. You I'm guys just... slept out in the rain. No, I, no, I made a little. I Bartholomew slept with the guards, and I made a little. I yeah. made a little, uh, little, little bed tent. I did my best. <laughs> did your best. You're a little, little soaked, a little cold in the morning, but the sun will be shining on these plains soon enough, and you'll, you'll dry up and warm up. Char, you don't sleep, so it doesn't matter. All right. So the party will continue on. Checking on the guards, checking on the peeps, seeing how they're doing. I mean, they seem to be doing pretty fine. Does Bark fall in with another on his scratch? Uh, I mean, he's good. He's healed back up. It's still there. Like, you, you see the little scratch, but it's. Poor boy. Wasn't anything too crazy bad. Poor boy. He's a good boy, though. He's fine. Best All right. Boy. As another day comes around of traveling, you all settle down once more. The sound of distant thunder rumbling once more. Oh, no. However, it seems that the night will go through without the rain coming too close to where you all are. Give me... Watches, please. I don't have watches. any watches. Mm-hmm. Those mean, two watches? wish to uh, 
observe during the night, aka watch over the party. Give me perception checks. Got it. And so you're taking ships, or Shark can just be like, "I'm a do <laughs> taking it all ships." By myself. Nah, no shifts. I watch. No shifts. I watch. He sees everything. Okay. He sees. He sees through the trees. Does uh, no one want to challenge him, stating that he would be the one to stay up all night and nope. watch? No, I trust him. Fine. Okay. Gail would really be okay with this, but okay. Uh, I mean, I'll, the I'll guards are already I'll on shift up. anyway. I'll get up. Nah, Kimiko, you need your kitty sleep. I'm too rich to stand watch. I'll wake up. I'll get up to wake up Mortimer. So, oh, to God, if you ruin my sleep, I'm gonna have <laughs> kitty stew. You're gonna have what? Kitty stew? Oh, chaos, your perception is shit. Yeah, he doesn't see shit. He's, he's looking at the back of charts like, hmm, this is a good back. <laughs> Falls asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Kimiko does her best. She falls asleep partway through her shift. It's fine, though, Bashar. You, along with the guards, uh, the guards were already taking shifts, so having a third person in there just lets them get a little bit more rest. What a guy. But your night is uneventful. You see nothing in the distance. Nothing close by. It is a peaceful night. I'm keeping a constant left. eye out on... Keeping a constant eye out for, you know, in case the storm managed to come closer and get kind of bad so you can wake people up, but it never comes closer. Another day goes by. Yeah. Traveling. Lovely. Oh, yeah, it's just way longer than that, actually. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right, several days go by. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Several can I, days can I, by. hold on, I want to do, I want to do uh, perception while we're walking just for plants and shit. Okay. <clears throat> Fuck. Wait, hold on. Bark's all mule, too. Fuck! <laughs> Damn it, Bark's all mule. You... See grass. Lots it's of good grass. grass. It's good grass. Quite a lot of grass. Probably needs a trim. I start. I start thinking about potions I can make with grass. They got uh, public lawnmowers out here. Lawnmowers exist. They're called goats. We see fields of goats. It just it just lies. Our cavalry turns into a goat. What? <laughs> you know, you know, far too many goats here. He's now oh. bath all of you. But several days go by, roughly about a week of walking and camping along the road. <laughs> you guys get to the town of Hazel's Meadow. Woo! One of the first things you notice. This is a very small, very, very small uh, town. There are a few farms around um, for various things like corn, wheat, uh, things like that. There's a few small gardens and things like that. One of the biggest things that you notice is a large fenced off area. You see some large yellow birds. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, gee golly. Oh. I wonder what these Birds. are. Birds. Oh, are these relatives? I can't believe it can hold my weight. Does somebody, oh, does somebody know the Chocobo song? Uh, don't worry. <laughs> You're going to listen to it on loop. <laughs> <laughs> no. I want to ride that Chocobo all day. <laughs> and I hate it. Oh, I heard this song so much when I played with fucking Prompto and Ignis on the back of these fucking things. And Prompto wouldn't stop humming the fucking song. 
Why do, why is. the first thing I find a fucking DND reference to Chocobos when I looked up how much they can carry? <laughs> Cause... Well, axe beaks are typically the, the like you could reskin an axe beak to be a chocobo, but I think axe beaks. Are I really don't know good. how Gale feels about riding on these things. Okay, well, first of all, it's in the Dolvern province, and uh, they are used for riding. I mean, it does. It does. Uh, I'm just the, the ethic, the ethics of it, since Gale was also a bird. Well, then. Uh... I guess you're gonna get left in the dust. A chocobo can drag 4,500 pounds, so you're fine. <laughs> All right, time to find how much one of these bad boys cost. And I like steal them. <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna get who keeps an eye on this boy. Oh. <laughs> Good for you. Keep an eye out as I'm flying past on a chocobo. So, so if we just steal, if we just, we'll just be the anti-heroes, right? We'll just steal, lie, and cheat our way to saving the world. And I've never done a moral thing, thing in my life. <laughs> there's not a damn thing that the law or the bad guys or the monsters can do. We are going to steal the snack and cheat them out of their Oh, oh no, Rachel. These are, uh... These are chocobos. I I don't have a picture anymore. Chocobos. I will eat them. They are, they are <laughs> snacks. He caught it, big bird. I mean, I'm, I'm, I, have you have you played Final Fantasy before? Haven't you, Rachel? I don't know what all games you played. Okay. All right. She knows. She was just playing with me. All right. So I will go up to the establishment to ask. All right. You walk as you uh, come up to the front. There's a couple of uh, chocobos that are hitched to uh, up front. You see a man in a cowboy hat. Well, howdy. What can oh, I get fuck. for you? The Texans coming out strong. Uh, yeah, I wanted to uh, procure one of these chocobos for riding. I want to know uh, your rates. They're going to be expensive. You want to ride a chocobo? Well, you gotta earn one's trust first. Oh no! Oh. I, I I can definitely earn the trust of a chocobo. Looks at looks at it like a glinting eye. <laughs> <laughs> kicks that gale. Kicks him in the face. You're you're bird bird folk. How do you uh, how, how do you what do birds like? Don't don't go asking Gale, who <laughs> no longer trusts you whatsoever. <laughs> I earn a bird's trust. <laughs> <laughs> looks at looks at Sharp. Be the opposite of you. <laughs> Fair. Is me. What? <laughs> what did you say, Alexa? I don't know what she said. Alexa, repeat that. Sorry, there is nothing to repeat. <laughs> oh, things, boy. Sexy boy. ass shit. She's like, that's that. I bet that's the Alexa equivalent of you fucking heard. <laughs> right. Um, uh, this choke is gonna... specifically from Final Fantasy 15. No, Gale doesn't. Gale doesn't just. The Gale just doesn't respond. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look around and look for uh, one that catches my eye. Can one right. that uh, catches. They are not multiple colors. They're all yellow. That's fine. Uh, um, and... The guy will uh, say, "All right, they're a hundred gold apiece." <gasps> Oof! All right. Oh, that's that's not as bad as I was that's expecting. Actually, that's that's pretty good, that's... honestly. Yeah, um, for you guys, I have thirty gold. <laughs> oh no! Um. All right, hundred gold I... apiece, and I'll teach you the ropes. All right. Can I um? All right. <laughs> Why can't I see my... Looks like I'm uh, riding on the back of someone else's chocobo. Why can't I see sure my inventory? That. Don't you have 30 platinum? That's silver, isn't it? No. That's platinum. Did you mean to have silver? Because <laughs> that's 300 no. gold. No, he got platinum from oh the safe God. in that dude's house. Yeah, let's give him like 10 platinum. Oh, oh, okay. 
I thought that was silver I was looking oh, at. Oh, I don't have a hundred. Oh no, I the lied. triangle is silver. That's right. I had a lot more gold than I gave myself credit for then. I thought I'd been, I thought I'd been poor as fuck, but no, I, I, the triangle, the silver triangle is, uh, silver. That and that's platinum. What's this? What's this weird hexagon then? Is that it's electrum? Uh, electrum. If it's in the middle, so it's copper, silver, electrum, gold, plat. Okay. So yeah. Okay. I have thirty plat. All right. Uh, well, then I'll hand him. I'll hand him over. Uh, and plat. Not, not good. I'm not gonna no go. Can I? I don't know the price of a fucking bird. Can I uh, look around for a wagon big enough to maybe pull the? They uh, have carts for the choking bows. Big enough for all the guys. A single chocobo can pull all of you and then some. Well, you say all of. I meant just mainly the guards and the. Yeah, when you said the all guys, of I'm you and he... then some. Yeah. I mean. What did you say? They could pull for like four thousand pounds. Yes. <laughs> um, can Gail talk to the person and ask to get a uh, um, ask to get a chocobo and get uh, send compensation from Aramore? I don't know who you think you are, but that's not how we do things around here. Uh, can I explain? You pay for it or you don't. Can I can I try explaining to him that I'm, I'm setting all on government work? Asked and all, but I've heard what happened to Dolvern. Right now we're on our own. It makes a I don't, fair point. I don't, I don't know if you think this is a lawless continent, but Dolvern is hardly the capital. Dolvern is the capital of this province. Last I remember, it's a crater. That doesn't stop the law. It doesn't stop the government. There's no guards around here except for yourselves. There's no what? There's no guards around here except for yourselves. Guards, you say? Yeah, guards. Did you never have guards? Not all towns have guards. It's farmer town. Um. I had I had a backup plan. I can't remember what my backup plan. Was. Uh. I'll sell you. How about a how about how about how about half now, half when I get to air more. How about one hundred and fifty gold for you. Ah, you! <laughs> Come on, Man. you're not even letting me roll for persuasion and shit, and you're making me take consequences. It's because sometimes you just can't persuade people that don't want to be persuaded. Uh. Sometimes you just can't threaten people who don't want to be threatened. Why don't I wasn't threatening them? Are you high? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no I just like how you're trying to government uh, what is essentially a cowboy. <laughs> no, Listen, I can they're, see they're from affected. that guy's point of view. I can see, like, unlike before, I can see this guy's point of view. He can't trust that he'll ever see that money, especially with like what happened to Dolvern. You have, we have no idea if that could happen to Aramor, or if he'll ever see that money. Oh, well, when he's but, dead and it's crossing over, he's gonna be not gonna have to worry about anything. Oh God damn, man! I mean, is that I mean, you no, him no, that's not me threatening him. I'm saying as as the <laughs> people right. that attack Dolver and sweep across the continent, he's not gonna have to worry about much soon. Um, all right, I'm just I'm just gonna I'm just gonna walk away from now. I'm just gonna check around and see if anyone needs help around town. Okay, all right, give me an investigation check. Oh, that was an intimidation check. Uh, no, that was investigation. I yeah, but I I clicked on intimidation and didn't let go of that. Hmm. All right, so you're gonna start going around town looking to see if anybody needs any help. All right. Not monetary compensation, just helping. Yeah. All right. All right. Shar, Mortimer, and uh, well, Kimiko is appears to have disconnected, so that's fine. 
Uh, you two. Oh, God, I keep changing his voice. You two. Hey, yuck. All right, you two. You three. Sorry. I didn't I'm see you down there, little cat person. <laughs> Are you interested? I ah, sure am. Well, I, I handed over the 10th platinum. I also yeah. will, would ask about the cart. Carts, uh, let's see. A cart would be a uh, chocobo cart. Do, 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 do. 20 gold. It's going to be 20 gold for that if you want a cart. Okay, and can that be. Uh, can, can one chocobo do that? Or does it need two? One can pull a cart. Alright, I hand him over the two platinum. And, uh,. Uh, I'll also ask him about food for the chocobo. What do they eat? What do I need to stock up on? We'll go over that in just a few minutes. I know what they eat, but... I know, I know, I know, I know what you. they eat. I know. <laughs> Best to get everybody together first, rather than not explain it to multiple times. He looks at Mortimer and Kimiko. I, uh... Casually pull out a hundred gold pieces, I guess. All right. Uh, I, just, I just give them a stack of gold. All right. Kimiko. Do you has the muns? I, I have, I have muns. I just don't have internet connection now. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 the chocobo says. Not the chocobo says. <laughs> the chocobo says. Hmm. The, cho the chocobo guy says. Do I look like I know what an internet is? <laughs> I don't look like I know what. I a will Jason take is. away the one hundred gold. Yay! Now I get my whole. Yeah, I'm poor again. Mm. Money spending simulator. <laughs> <laughs> All right, since we got that ready, let's get you on a chocobo. Yeah, yeah, lead you guys over to uh... dies, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> oh, trust me, they're tougher than you. <laughs> Bom, yeah, chocobos by a are... long shot. Yeah, well, that doesn't Chocob say much when I have also died many times. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, I wouldn't be surprised at our level right now. They might not have the utility of us, like spells and shit, but. Chocobos are fucking strong. They can also run 40 miles an hour. I don't know about you, but I beat Ifrit with just Chocobo Rush. Just smacking a literal god in the face with a bunch of Chocobos. So everybody <laughs> knows that if the Chocobos exist, so does the fat Chocobo. Oh! Am I getting a fat Chocobo? <laughs> no. You are a fat Chocobo. <laughs> No, I can't, can't, I can't, can't end this the fat chocobo. I can't you end can't this session. Chocobo, that just, just, I can't end this campaign without me riding on a fat chocobo and having the chocobo like the one guy. Fuck, what was his name? I can't remember him, but he had the chocobo in his hair. Oh my fucking chocobo god. In his why? Hair? He had an afro and he had a little baby chocobo that would hide Oh, all right. The That's chocobo. Cute. That I call him, I call like him, a fucking chocobo. I call them chocobos, but I know they're not actually called a... Wait, all right. Chair. So, the party, three of the members of the party get led over to some stables near the pastures. There's a large number of chocobos running around. The guy brings over a bucket with a bunch of uh, sort of turnip-looking <laughs> plants in them. Now, I've never remembered how to pronounce this correctly. It's Geisel Greens, I think. Geisel right? Greens, yeah, they're they're said Geisel. You can these, eat them. Humans can eat them too. These here are Geisel Greens. Mortimer Geisel's favorite them. food. Prompt, it's Prompto's favorite food to eat the greens as well as giving it to his chocobus. Takes some. I take some. Uh, yeah, All I agree. Right. Some. All right. Now find your chocobo. I hate or something. 
I get the most regal looking chocobo. Okay. Give me give me a uh perception check. I'm also going to give a perception ah. check and I'm going to look for one that looks like it's been through a couple scraps. One that looks like it handles itself. Okay. All right. What are you looking for, Kimiko? <laughs> the one with the juiciest legs. <laughs> Toad with the most meat. Don't worry, his... I'm gonna turn down this fucking music. <laughs> I love it, but I also hate it at the same time. You want? We could play something different. We could do the Chocobo Metal. That's fine. It's, it's, <laughs> a, it's oh, okay. Well, oh, it's the Chocobo Metal. Okay, I get. <laughs> you want to hear it? Uh, I'm interested, but I I, I like <sighs> I like this uh, I like this tune for where we're at right now. But uh, you can you can play the metal one a little bit. Man, this just <laughs> makes me want to play that. Oh, this is the one with fucking what? What number was the one with Prompto and Ignis and fucking fifteen? That's it. Yeah, just the, hearing this makes me want to play fifteen again. That, yeah, but that's what it's from. So, so I didn't know if they maybe had this song prior to fifteen. Uh, it, it, it's the it's the theme. It's just remade for fifteen. Basically, it's the same thing. It don't change it much. All right. I I'm Some telling you right now, if at any point someone says, that's it, I've got another idea for food, or whatever he fucking says, Ignis. I have a new idea for a recipe. I, uh, that's I it. already said that. I thought I already said that. <laughs> oh, no. You did. I, what kind I, of... My first instinct was to eat them. <laughs> what? What kind of chocobo are you looking for, Kimiko? What personality? Uh, the tasty kind. Okay, um... Well, I'm of two minds. Uh, the, 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 the saddest one that they have. Or, you know, it, you know, maybe kind of lazy. Or, or like, something that's closer to my kind, but small. And, and, and looks, uh, cheerful. Okay. Uh... I'm looking for the the fattest and laziest one, or the 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 lies, uh, like I don't know, cheerful one, or like energetic or playful. Do, 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 do. I know yeah. having a mouth that's lazy sounds like a bad idea, but I mean, just look out. Well, look unfortunately, um. <laughs> All of them don't seem to be, uh, none of them seem to be, like, on the fatter side. They all seem to be pretty well taken care of. Mm -hmm. um, so you don't, that. so you don't find anything like that, at least. Um, we'll Mortimer, as that. you're sort of looking around, walking around, trying to uh, just sort of find this, this sort of this regal, this confident chocobo, you see one standing proud and tall. It sees you. And almost instantly there's this connection. Oh. Floating around. Sappy music. <laughs> sure. And it comes over to you. What do you do? I reach out my hand slowly and <laughs> open like I, I Offer it some of the food. Some Geisel Green? Alright. As you hand it to it, it takes it from you. It doesn't, doesn't run away or anything like that. But it sticks around near you for a time. You keep feeding it. Kind of pet it a little. At the moment, you seem to be making a connection. Give me an animal handling check with advantage. I'm not good at All right. 
Okay, so you will you will be uh, spending your time with the chocobo. You, you you remember like a few little things you've heard about these creatures, and you know they they really enjoy uh, human company. You talk to it a bit. You know uh, that they uh, they're highly intelligent. They cannot speak, but they understand common. So you kind of talk to it a little bit. Uh, you seem to kind of make a connection with this uh, this creature. Shar. Yeah. While none of them appear to have been ridden into battle, you do find one that uh, appears to maybe have been in a few scuffs with wildlife or something like that. Has a scar across one of its eyes, though it doesn't appear to have affected its vision at all. Nice, that's what I was looking for. And it sees Earth. you. It begins to stare you down. Staring each other down. I like it. I like it. It's gonna each other's you. dominance. Oh! Do you stand your ground or do you back off? I'm gonna stand on my ground, like put my hands, like in a kind of grabbing motion, preparing myself. All right, give me an intimidation check. Uh, <laughs> I'm a lucky. Yeah. All right. You stand your ground and manage to. It's, it stops charging part way through and it's kind of stops close to in front of you and seems to accept the fact that you are more intimidating than it. What do you do? Punch it! <laughs> uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna stand straight up. I'm gonna look it in the eyes. I'm just gonna put my hand up to its mouth with the greens in my hand. And I'm like, that's right. I think you and I are gonna get along great. All right. Just I don't like passive animals. I like mine with a little grit. All right. You give it some greens. Give me an animal handling check with advantage. Oh, I'm re-rolling. Um, all my luckies, boys. Oh, oh my god. What, fuck? what, what? is this shit? He kicks you in the nuts. That's... That's really unfortunate. Ah, uh, fuck! What Fucking the fuck? three rerolls and three advantages, all <laughs> less than ten. Oh my god! Oh dear. Oof. Okay. We have to work on this. Uh, you. He's Riley. He is very much Riley. He doesn't fully take to you at first, but he appears to be tame enough that you could ride him. Though you might think there might be some issues with him listening to you at some point. I'm gonna have to work on my bond. I'm gonna have to just do the thing where you pat him 50 times. Red Dead Redemption 2 bonding. Let's go. Yeah, it's like that. It's actually in Final Fantasy 15. You can increase the bond with your chocobo by doing the exact same shit. As... Kimiko is looking for Chocobo. None of them are small, unfortunately. You see one that's just darting around, running, playing with the other ones. Sort of like j being generally aggravating to some of their Chocobo that are just trying to, you know, just <laughs> sort of chill in the sun and the grass. And it sees you, the little cat girl. It jumps on against you. And it jumps on you. Is he there? I don't know. Hey. I don't think he's there. God damn it! I messaged him. Can you call? Well, we'll just go to Gale for now. Um, so I noticed that we're nearby woods. Yes, the forest comes very close to the town. 
Can I go out and look for a... St what, what creatures are near this place? I wouldn't know, right? Because I'm a druid that... Uh... that has been around Dolmen. Yes, the creatures that can be found here. I mean, you got various beasts. You can be found bears. Things like that. If you're referring to the forest specifically. Yeah. Mainly. I mean, just whatever is around. I'm thinking of maybe... Are there any oxen? There are no oxen here. Okay. Are there stag? Uh, there are deer and stuff, yeah. Uh, I want to go out and look but first. You'd have to go hunting for them, essentially. Yeah, yeah. Can I like just kind of check the surrounding area and see if I see tracks or anything? Sure. Give me a survival check. Are you going into the woods? Yeah. Okay. Just I'll just All tell right. uh, Barkthal and to be on alert. Okay. So you uh, you find a, a few tracks. Um, <laughs> from what appear to be a deer leading deeper into the woods. Are they fresh? They're not super old? fresh. They're not like... They're like maybe like a day old. Okay, well, I'll follow them a little bit. Alright. So you follow them for a little while, ways into the woods. How far into the woods are you willing to go? Um... Let's see. I don't know. No more than... No more than maybe 20... Minutes. Okay. So you walk into the woods uh, a little ways, um, you follow the tracks a bit, and they start to kind of get lost through the, into the underbrush. Give me another survival check. Okay. You, you see a few more, but they're a bit faded, and you're not really sure if they're leading you in the right direction or not. Give me a perception check up as well. Oof. Okay, so you as you as you kind of get a bit further into the woods, um, you notice that probably about fifteen minutes of going of like walking into the woods, right? So you you're probably like close to a mile inside the woods at this point. Uh, you notice that there's you're starting to see a large increase in um like there's starting to be a large number of of spider webs really coating the mm. trees and the the forest itself mm. all right um can i can i like go a different direction a bit Maybe check clearings. Which, uh, which way you want to go? Away from west. the spiders. <laughs> well, west, east. I mean, uh, back. Let's let's look a little more west because if there were any animals okay. near Dolmen, do you just want to kind of skirt the edge of the spider webs? Yeah. Okay. Give me a survival check as you kind of just skirt the edge of spider webs while looking for stuff. Ah. Oh. Uh, sort of looking through the this area of the forest, you're starting to see a, just quite a few strange footprints, uh, tracks left on the ground that you're not quite sure what they are. Uh, are they tiny? It's a bit or... of a mess. The I'm trying to think of like a good app size would probably something similar to like the the circumference of a baseball bat. All right, I'm going to move a little further south. Okay. Give me a perception check. God damn it! What the oh fuck? God. As Gale moves away from the, the, the spider's webs and heads a bit what further south, he fuck, doesn't dude. notice the fuck huge spider hanging out in the webs behind him. <laughs> what is, does Bartholomew? What's Bartholomew's base perception? Base perception is 13. It's passive, rather. So, roll it. You roll it, dude. I mean, yeah, but it's passive perception. Doesn't matter. Spiders are stealthy. 
All right, well, I'm going to keep heading south. All right. I mean, you head south. Give me a survival check. Still looking for tracks. Still looking for tracks. Fuck it. You find a, a slightly fresher trail. Probably okay. like two hours old, maybe. Heading right. a bit further, like southwest. I'm going to start heading. I'm going to follow the tracks then. All right. So you follow the tracks. Follow for a little while. They start to... You notice that they start to get a, a little bit fresher as you continue to track them further and further. And uh, eventually they get to the point where you think that they're maybe just minutes old. And uh, give me a perception check. I'm going to let Bartholomew perception. Oh, that's good, but I'm going to have him roll too. Okay. As you are uh, sort of walking along, you hear the sound of something uh, rubbing on a tree. Okay. Uh... And you and sort I... of take a little peek through some bushes, through some of the underbrush, and you see a uh, a large uh, deer uh, stag with a uh, it's rubbing its horns on a tree. Uh, how far away are they from me? About eighty feet. Uh, all right, can I try to sneak through? Sure. Bartholomew mule too. Oh. All right, Bartholomew, don't don't fuck me. Oh, good boy, good boy. All right, the two of you creep closer through the underbrush, making very like nary a sound that would alert this deer. And you get how close are you looking to get? I need to get it in at least thirty feet. All right, well you get within thirty feet of it. All right, I'm gonna use animal friend. Oh. Okay. Okay. And, uh... So... No, I'm not... What well, I might need to throw? roll for it, but... Ha! Hold on. Alright, give me a second. I'm, ent <laughs> I'm entering Dragon Starry form. Uh, well, that might not actually help. Well, that... That might not help won't me. do anything. It, yeah. it, it passes the saving throw. Ah, hold on. All so right. as you cast the spell and break stealth, the the uh, the stag quickly realizes that you're there, and just darts off. All right, wait. Ah, uh, no, no. Ah, uh, God. Wait. I, can I can I try speak with animals to try to reason as it's running? It's it's gone. God damn it. Fuck. Um. Shit! Natural, natural fucking 20 on the save. That's oof. Fuck! Er, Jesus! Damn it! Uh. You okay with it? No! Fuck these rolls! <laughs> I like how we're just comfortably, like, Can I... tame with some nice little chocolates, and he's oh, having, like, it. a fucking survivalist nightmare out there. Can't. I wanted to use hold person, but that's humanoid. Um, dude, just having yeah. a rough time of it. All right. Uh, are there any other tracks? Give me a survival check. Come on, good row. You got this. Hey, okay. bear stag. Uh, I don't care. Some. You find what appears to be some large bear footprints, but they're leading further north. Oh, God. How far away am I from the spiders by now? I'll follow uh, them a little you bit can, north. You can, uh... I mean, you're probably, like, maybe 30 minutes away from where the webs are. Yeah, I'll follow them a bit north, see where they go. Alright. If you follow them north, you follow them north for about, like, 15 minutes or so. And, uh... You come across what appears to be a uh, sort of a, a rocky sort of a spot where some like a cave is kind of formed on a hill and it's huh. leading down and uh, you see the tracks sort of lead directly to it. 
Okay. Um, so I'm going to cast Speak with Animals. All right. And I'm going to call into the cave and try to be like, I mean, no harm. Uh, are, there, are there any bears in there? Tell them I'm a, I'm a druid, I'm a friend of nature. You hear a roar. And then some hefty footsteps. <laughs> How fast are they coming? Not terribly fast. Alright, I tell Bark Tholomew to go hide behind a tree. Give me a persuasion check. For whom? Probably the bear. Not for Bark Tholomew. Oh no. All right, that's survived fine. The I, encountered I, and survivor the encountered in Dover and only to die to a fucking. No, no, no. <laughs> I still have I still have animal friendship. I'll, I'll be okay. As a, a large brown bear comes out of the cave. Actually, yeah, no, it's the cave bear. Okay. Does he need to cast that uh, again? Uh, uh, it's, it's, on the, it's like you cast it, it has, uh, speak it with animals been. would have been over by now yeah but uh animal friendship is it lasts for 24 hours if it succeeds yeah but, but on the animals, animal that i he, he spent he spent 15 minutes following the tracks all right so a large uh dark brown bear with like sort of gray patches on parts of its fur gray highlights in its fur uh comes from the Comes from within the the cave. Mm -hmm. What do you want to do? Um, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. Is it is it angry with me yet? It's looking at you. I I it hasn't said anything yet. I try to explain to it as simply as I can that I am friendly, but his home is in danger, and I need his help. Persuasion check. I mean, it is in danger. Fucking hell. <laughs> Rose. What danger? Um, I try to explain fire from the sky and uh, rocky... Then explain it. <laughs> uh, the, skies, the skies will burn and the forests will wither. looks around not now but it's it's coming and I need your help it just turns around and goes back in the cave um when he dies he's gonna uh, feel pretty silly <laughs> uh I, I need to see it which it either beast bond or friend animal friendship would be better. Um, if I do animal friendship, if I like treat him really well after twenty four hours, is there a chance that he'll still be cool with me? Maybe. Okay. Just basically, that's me asking. Like anything that happens during animal friendship is not wiped after he's after the spell no. is it? Just okay. bear in mind, it is a, a charming thing. Right. Um, Alright, then I'm going to use Animal Friendship. Okay. Alright. Um... I think bears have like a plus one to their wisdom normally, so that's, that would be an 18 anyway. Hold on. So as you cast the magic on it, as it begins to turn around and go back into its cave, you feel the magic, grasp, grasp it, and then it passes the, the saving throw, so it breaks free. Then it turns around at you. <laughs> I just, I, I just, just understand, I need, I need your help, I'm trying to help save your home. Roars at you, roll initiative. Oh, Unless you're just gonna fly away. I don't want to hurt. I don't want to kill it. <laughs> I just want to hurt. 
Um, can I can I fly up just out of reach a little bit? Okay. Um, do I have my pack? Uh. <laughs> I still have bundles of bear home. fur. <laughs> I was going to say, leave my home. And then he's just noticing that you can fly. He's just going to go back to his cave. God damn it. Come on. You. You want your home to burn. You don't seem to be convincing enough. Um. Uh, all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna try I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna. <laughs> oh, I'm ready. Um. Excited. Uh. I gotta figure out how I how I want to put this. Um. Um. What does the ha what happens if something ingests an Ember Hulk eye exactly? Uh, you don't know. Um, I just blanked out there for a second. Huh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I don't. Ooh. Um. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take my bundles of bear fur and I'm going to put it on Bartholomew. Maybe to give him the right. scent of a bear, I don't know. So you just kind of dump the bear fur onto him. He sort of looks at you like, why? <laughs> and I tell the bear, here, here's another bear that will fetch for me. He doesn't, even, he doesn't even come back out. <laughs> Bartholomew's sitting there with strands of bear fur on him, like, what the fuck, man? Master, why? <sighs> I am good boy. Why you do this? God damn it. What's with these fucking rolls? Just accept the laws! No, I, I want an animal! I need an animal to pull a cart. Um, a bear's not gonna pull a cart. It could have if I told it to. <laughs> it's charmed. It is not. So when a creature is charmed, it considers you basically that you're like its its best friend, right? But that doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna do whatever you ask it to do. <sighs> um. I have one more slot remaining. Can I look around for other tracks? Sure. <laughs> I'm a fucking awful druid. We'll find a bunny. Right to be fine. <laughs> you find. Hold on. Hold on. I'm, I'm holding on. Wait, no, hold on a second. Never mind. Uh, I want to go back to the. Uh, I want to go back to Hazel Metal. I want to remember where this bear cave is, but I want to go back to Hazel you know, Hazel's Metal. All right, we'll see if you can find it another time then. I was gonna go get some fish. Ah. Uh in that town that's not near a river. I mean, they're not that like... far from Dover, which is a port. It's real like far from that town. I don't know, find... Alright, I'll look around for berries and nuts then. Alright, okay. you find some berries and nuts. Alright, I, uh... I put, I put the berries and nuts in front of his cave and I said, I, and, I, and I tell him I bring food. All right, so you just yell, I bring food. 
without speak with the animals because it would have been would it have been 10 minutes by the time you had to go off and gather a bunch of berries and nuts uh, if you're if you're gathering enough for a bear it would take some time uh You know what would have been better to do this with? What? Chocobo. I don't have money for a chocobo, so I'm looking for animals. Could have asked somebody else. Nope. Uh. <laughs> I'm, I'm, in, I'm in this got deep. his chocobo, and he's already got a cart. And... Yeah, well, he has a dead man <laughs> stolen money, so I don't have that. <laughs> um. I, I just I just Stop. put I put the food down and I just wait a little he's bit. Dead? It's stealing from yeah. his next of kin. Ah uh, yes. I should really remake this map and for you guys only and just put a fucking crater where Dolvern is to remind you that it's a crater. <laughs> In the benefit of hindsight. At the time, the his next of kin. It doesn't matter what it is now. Now I just put the berries and nuts in front of it, and I just kind of sit down in front of the cave. I give it some space. I sit down in front of the cave, and I just, I just wait. Okay. You wait. I'm gonna let Bark fall, and you'll be on alert. And you Talk wait. Me. And you wait. The bear doesn't come out of the cave. Hibernation. You wait so long that it becomes winter. Not <laughs> um, You wait for about an hour, two hours. Doesn't come back. Doesn't come out. He is having a rough time of it. Let me see. He's this. harassing this fucking bear. This bear's gonna come back as like a main antagonist later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's, he's the main villain. Um, the bird that harassed me. Army of bears. <laughs> can I. Can I, um. Summon bestial spirit? And. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna summon bestial spirit. Is it prepared? Yes. Okay. I really wish people would tell me when they make summoning spells. What do you mean? Oh! I had them do their characters. Wait, what? What do you mean? So I could make a thing for it, so like a token. I mean, druids just have summon bestial spirit. Right? What? Oh, you mean the familiar thing? Uh... What do you mean? Get the familiar thing. Bestial, summon bestial spirit is a spell that conjures a bestial spirit yes. to fight with you. Yes. Yeah. I wish people would tell me that they had the intention of picking conjuration spells that summon things. I mean, it's not one that I use often. It was one I used to put a snake in the truck. That was a familiar. The snake no, didn't was... die, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it only lasts for like an hour. No, it lasts permanently. This concentration up it to dies. one hour. I don't think that's true. Pretty sure, because I'm pretty sure I got it from the compendium. Summon your... Um, okay, Not Bestial so Spirit, I'm talking about Find Familiar. I don't have Find Familiar. Yes. Okay. Alright. Sure. You don't have Wild Companion. Oh. There's yeah. a thing that you can do that you, you can expend a use of your Wild Shape to summon a fine familiar, a familiar oh, right? Oh, okay. Um, you did that with, to make a snake. Okay. Uh, then I'll, yeah, I'll do Wild Companion. Oh, never mind. Oh, when you cast a spell in this way, the familiar... Oh, okay, no, it does disappear. That's so dumb. Why? Alright, then I'll just do Wild Companion then. I'll use a, uh, it's a wild shape, and I'll summon a bear. Well, it's uh, it is actually I'm not gonna use it. I'm not because I mean I might as well just you use could turn a into a bear. Spirit. 
Turn into oh, a bear. Oh! I could Make turn into it. a bear! Yeah. I'm gonna turn Who into a that? bear! Do you wanna turn into I'm gonna turn into a bear. What kind of bear? Uh, what same kind of bear he is. Uh, I don't... You're not a high enough level. What? What kind of bear can I turn into? <laughs> I think you turn into a brown bear, I think. Alright, no. quit, quit cock-teasing me and just turn hold me on. into a bear. No, hold on. I'm, I'm, look, I'm making sure. Like, the druid's TR rating is fucking weird. Okay. Every time I have a druid in my games, they always play, um... Moon, so they always are, like... They can always turn into something much more powerful. Mm -hmm. uh, you are level four. You do half of a, of a CR rating, uh, so you can turn to a black bear. I hope he's not racist. I turn he's into big. a black bear. Okay, turn into a black bear. Okay, I'm gonna go into the cave. And I'm gonna. Oh I'm my god! Right <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm just gonna announce my presence. I'm gonna tell him I'm a friendly bear. I, t I tell him that. Give me a persuasion check. Oh no! Okay. Uh, please, God, please, please, please. Okay. On the edge of the seat. Okay. I won't go in too far. Just enough to get his attention. Okay. 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 I, t I tell him. I tell him that what the bird speaks is true fire will come down on our land and burn our forests and he needs your help give me give me a deception check because technically you are deceiving him right by being a the bear right okay and by lying. And by actually lying, yeah. I mean, I'm not lying. It's, pro it's probably going to burn and they're probably going to, you know, fuck shit up. Okay. The bear walks towards the cave entrance. You realize that it's about twice the size of your current form. Oh, no. You're the bottom. Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Um, Where's the bird? He, I, uh, he came to find me. He will return shortly. Do you accept this responsibility? <laughs> Shit, man, I don't know. I'm just a bear. <laughs> <laughs> I I nod to the bear, and I say I must I must be off. I have other work to help uh, save our forests. <laughs> <laughs> I go run off. Okay. <laughs> and I, and I, <laughs> I turn back into my normal form, and I fly back. Mark Thom, you sitting there like, what the fuck, man? What's going on? And 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 bark uh, no I I return, and I, I I see the bear outside, and I act as if it's a it's I'm I'm happy and surprised, and I ask him, All right. "Will you okay. help me?" You get the bear; it's following you back. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want any more of this. No, I don't. Because <laughs> what's about to happen is gonna make all of this pointless anyway. Oh come on! Don't I, what the fuck? I'm keeping this bear. I don't know. If he, if he stays let's, with me, I'm keeping take, this bear. Alright, so you start heading back to Hazel's Meadow with a cave bear. <laughs> I, Are you going as, to town? As I He's walk back. back as I, I, I Alright, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to speak with the bear. How else are you going to hook it up to the cart? I know, I know. He's coming with me. I had no intention of not bringing him back to the town. I speak to the bear... And I say, I need you to just be on your best behavior. Just just do what Bartholomew does. Just wait around and I'll I'll get I'll get some food for you, get some water for you. Just don't don't eat anything until I give you it. Bartholomew does a backflip. <laughs> I, I I I 
I used speak to animal for this. I just wait for his confirmation. It just grunts at you. All right, good enough. Um, as we're walking back to the town, I, I announce animal handling. Okay. Thankfully, I'm a druid, but that doesn't mean shit. Apparently. <laughs> the druid that lived in a city. Listen. We can blame the shit rollers on that. Okay. Yeah, he just grunts. All right. Uh, as okay. we're coming, as we're getting, as I'm getting close to the town, I just want to announce to everyone that I, I'm a bear is with me. Like I just try to say it as loud as I can, and I tell them not to worry. He's fine. I have him under control. Holy shit, a bear! Yeah, I have Here him under control. Shot. So don't. Don't hurt the bear. You hear a gunshot. Don't hurt the bear. They you don't you don't hear a gunshot! Fuck off, DM! They shoot the bear. No, why? I told I'm why, young. why don't they just give me some warning? Retcon that shit, goddammit! I won't bring him back to the town! I'll sit outside the goddamn town! I hate you! You're not my real dad! Holy shit, there's a bear outside the village! Stop! I used all my spell slots for this! I know you did, that's the best part. Why would you do this? <laughs> I'm not buying a fucking chocobo! <laughs> I get you walking. We don't need this many chocobos, we got three of them, out. We probably only really need one chocobo to- travel. I'm so salty, why'd you shoot my bear?! What the bear? What the f is gonna happen when you bring a gigantic bear into town? Somebody says, hey, could you not do that? And I say, oh, okay, I'll walk out with my bear! <laughs> just, just shoot the bear. The bear Why runs. are you shooting my bear? <laughs> the bear runs off. God damn it! You should have told them to be on their best behavior, not the bear. Yeah. We're going hunting, boys! Just a bunch of them run off into the woods after the bear. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, that, that sounds a bit- I'm gonna bad. shoot whoever shot at my bear! Are you sure? You wanna no, do that? No, instigate the whole fucking town. I mean, we're, 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 we probably got our chocobos all nice and settled in by now. So, I think we're uh, fine. Yeah. But... Uh... Also, speaking of that, Char, name your chocobo. Oh. Char's chocobo. Mortimer. Why did you do this to me? Why didn't you just say I didn't find a bear track? Because. That wouldn't be very roleplay, would it? Only. God if damn, only my Gale. asshole is stressed from how much this DM is <laughs> fucking me. If only Gale. What uh, could have been? What could have been? I couldn't buy it. I don't have money. Ask. I'm not taking Char's dirty ass money. <laughs> I'd be happy to give you some. I would be. Di <laughs> I would be displeased to take it. <laughs> But technically, you don't have to take it. I didn't. You're like saying you don't have to take it, and you I'm not. Pay for it. No, I'm not. I'm not taking that dirty ass chocobo. <laughs> oh my god! I wanted a bear, and you <laughs> shot my bear. They shoot the bear, and they go after it. You hear a few more gunshots. And Fuck you! You're making this worse. Yeah, I don't understand about them going after it. I expect I I expect the first shot, but I don't know why they'd be going to. Because they're rednecks. I don't know what that thing is, but it's black and we're gonna shoot it! They knew exactly <laughs> what it was. They said it was a bear and they I shot it. A bear, not a black bear. And we'll all look over at Gil's like I got room in my carriage. It's not a carriage, it's a cart. I asked what Mortimer if he'd be so kind as to carry the, uh, the guards and the refugees in his cart. Just stay back. Mortimer, you bought a card too? No, I didn't. I'll buy a fucking card for Mortimer. 
I asked Mortar if I buy a card if he'll haul my haul the uh, haul the guards and refugees. Nah, no, no. they're already getting my house. No, fuck you. I don't trust you as far as I can throw you. Obviously you do trust him somewhat, otherwise you wouldn't you know, be traveling with him. I have to go to Aramore. I can't help it. I will, I'll talk with the guards that I uh, did the night shift with and tell them that I've got room on my cart for anyone. All right, yeah, you've been, you've been kind of talking to him quite a bit during the night shift, so you kind of kind of bonded with him a little bit. But yeah, that'd be great. I mean, do these guards not know what he's done? He killed one no. of the other guards. They, they don't, don't know. know that. I they sent them afterward because of that. They have no idea that Shard did that. They were hunting him. They, I told them what to hunt him. It was him. They know they that know a guard went to talk like. to him, and the guard was dead. You can tell them if you want to be petty. I, no, that wouldn't be petty. But no, they don't. They may know. Even if these were the same guards, they don't know what I look like. They don't have a clue what I look like. The first guard never I, came back. Char does not feel comfortable about the guards riding with Char. Wait, <laughs> Gale does not. <laughs> I don't feel, you know what? I don't feel comfortable with this. Gale does not feel comfortable letting the guards ride with Char. Okay. I, I, t I'm going to talk to the guards and tell them what he's suspected of. And that I find it more comfortable if they stay with the refugees. Well, we're gonna all be riding in the cart. I'm gonna get a separate cart. I'm gonna have... I'm gonna see if Mortimer will drive this other cart. Mortimer? Do you have proof that he did what you say he did? I have... Strong suspicion. Left. The guard that I sent to talk to him was stabbed. And when I sent all of you after him, he stole the truck, was with a man wearing guard uniforms. I'm not going to put out Mortimer like that. And, uh, <laughs> and killed my dog. <laughs> me under the bus. What did the, I killed your dog. That wasn't me. That was Daji. Thank you. <laughs> Daji. It was cabbage, as Koala calls him. Also, for all I know, Dodge. he could have killed all those people dog. in that house. He certainly is also suspected of robbing the house. I mean, are you sure he did? Uh, he doesn't seem like... There's, the of course, not... I, of course, don't have 100% proof. I, I, I kind of disagree but, with. But there is strong evidence yeah, that he did... Like a man who could kill that he did yeah, rob not, it saying, and Dan killed the guard. don't look like it. Personality-wise, you don't give off the vibe of being somebody who would just murder a bunch of people. Do I have do like I have knight. seniority over them? Do I have uh, authority over them? I mean, you're a sentinel. They're Dolvern guards. I mean, I guess if you want to try to, you can. I, go. I'm, well, I'm, I'm just wait. No, I'm just waiting until I hear what they have to say about all of this supposed evidence stacked up against Char. I mean, well, they kind of go off to the side, talk a little bit. We collect evidence. I mean, the evidence that his footprints were in front of the safe Char, that was opened uh, up, and there was a guard that a was killed that I sent to go talk to him. Check, Char. That's pretty strong. I mean, that's what you're telling them. Anyways. Uh, Surely they know that the guard was dead. And I had them going after Shar. This is ridiculous. Oh, oh no. Sorry, Shar is way too charismatic. Uh, the the guards come over. There's like, well, I mean, we don't know if he did it. Could have been anybody. It was crazy back in Dolvern. I, what what do you how do you explain his footprints in front of the safe? How do you know it was his? Uh, he said he was the last one in the house, and that Ooh. footprints in the blood downstairs match the footprints in front of the safe. And if he was the last one in the house before telling us, 
and we went in and those were the only footprints, what can you conclude from that? Yeah, you're right. Uh, Shit, dog, you're right. <laughs> in the corner, they, uh, lot. they uh, take their badges that they have as guards and they drop them on the ground. Guess we're not guards. What? <laughs> They're Dolvin guards. They're not really guarding a fucking pit. Alright, then you're going to be treated as refugees from now on. And uh, it's not in my... I don't, I don't... I'm not going to take responsibility for you dying, so I'm going to ask you go with the other refugees in Mortimer's cart. Hold up. Because the refugees you don't take responsibility... No, I'm not going it's... to take responsibility... No. I'm not going to be responsible, rather, for them dying because of Char. So I tell them that I, I need them to join the refugees in Mortimer's cart. I don't have a cart! I'm buying you a cart! I can't what? afford a chocobo, but I can afford a cart! You can save uh, do you talk? So you talk to the owner. Oh, oh my city, god. A cart, Fuck man. this DM! God damn it! <laughs> oh... You know, I think the only one we got left is in really good condition. Probably about 70 gold or so. Oh, come on. <laughs> this, is, this is a bit much. <laughs> Even I can say this I mean, is a bit much. It's understandable. He was jacking the price up of the Chocobo because of his personality in the first place. I ask him if he'll take 61 gold. That's oddly specific. Because I only have man. all I have is ten <laughs> one platinum and fifty one gold. Price. Yeah, you know what? That's good. We'll take. I'll take sixty one gold for it. Oh my god! You're getting robbed. I I know. <laughs> Fucking hook up the cart to. The... I'm not mad at Mortimer. I'm mad at the situation. Hook <laughs> up the cart to the chocobo. Plan this out a little. I'm I'm going to give you a lifeline here. You're just gonna walk up to my chocobo and hook up the car. I asked you like three times. I said I didn't want it three times. <laughs> Come on, Mortimer. Please just let let this happen. Um, I want to say I want to keep these refugees safe. Are you are you genuinely trying? to hook the cart up to the chocobo. I'm talking to Mortimer about it. I have the cart. I'll find some way if they don't let me hook it up. Alright, well, <laughs> since you spent the cash on it. Thank you. My, my point was more that are you going to try to force a cart on the chocobo without even trying to go through me? No, I mean, I was trying to go you through you. That chocobo would have kicked your ass. Alright, I give, I ask Mortimer to help me hook it up. He reluctantly gets off the joke, though, and helps hook up the cart. You motherfuckers are not trying very hard to help him stay. Holy shit. Your, your actions here, man. Well, there's no actions! I asked very reasonably no if I could send back money from Aramor. He wasn't having it. I tried to go to Reason. He wasn't having it. I tried to get a bear. They shot the bear! I tried to Reason with the guards to do their job and they quit. What about the one action that is actually probably a good bet, which is trying to use Char and... Make reparations. He murdered my guard. I he has a lot. I am in. Uh, I, there is a lot of suspicion that he murdered the guard. He's still not convinced that he didn't murder all those people because he very likely robbed the house. I'm not gonna lie here. I love how everyone is defending Char except for me, who is controlling Char because I am all in for fucking Gail's pretty right in this situation. <laughs> I would do the same <laughs> shit and get him. What'd you say? My character hasn't necessarily been defending him. I've been defending him in out of character. The DM's been <laughs> been fighting for him a hell of a lot. Nah, you just have bad roles, dude. Don't blame that on the DM. Your roles are My roles have nothing to do with them shooting a bear even though I gave him fair warning. Yeah, that's your role playing. 
What's worse? What do you think Honestly, would that... happen? Look, you should have prepared. You should have left the bear out of the town first, and then came in. And it's a small it. town. I thought it would have. I thought it was. It was... It's a big bear. <laughs> a small town full of fucking cowboys. You're like, let's bring up. Whatever. I have mobility for the refugees, and I'm telling the guards there are now refugees to get on the cart with the other refugees. Demanding even. I am demanding them. Nah, we ain't refugees, man. You are refugees. You are no longer guards. You are no longer employed by Dolvern. You are now refugees of Dolvern, and it is my job to keep you safe until we get to Aramore. Once we're at Aramore, you can do whatever the hell you want. Gotta do whatever the hell we want right now. And stay here. I just like I just I'm patting my uh my cart. <laughs> Take it in your car, car. <laughs> I bonded with them. They're my boys yeah. now. Yeah, along oh with God. actually uh, a couple of the refugees get in that cart too. Holy oh, fuck. Most, mm. Mostly because there's not enough room in, in Mortimer's for everybody. The pet the, yeah, I was gonna ask that sick shit. shit that he's causing. I was gonna ask, no, it, no, that does make sense. Even if they can pull a lot, that doesn't mean the carts are big. Carts no, that's really fine. That's not, that's not the part I'm sick of a shit about. Just because the chocobos can pull a lot, I didn't expect those cards. How fast do these chocobos to be go? that big? So he said 40 miles per hour. That's if you're only riding on them. They're going to be slower pulling a cart. Yeah. What's their cart I, speed? I think like probably 20. Yeah, the exchange between uh, the shopkeep and uh, Gale. Say so what? <laughs> did, did I oh, no! hear the inter between Gale and oh, the, for the uh, for the for the cart? cart? Yeah. 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 I would like to examine the cart and uh make a comparison between the two, see if they're actually uh, they, the they seem to be exactly the same. No doubt. <coughs> okay. I'm so sick of this shit. <laughs> this is good content, boys. It's curious. Yeah, it's great content. Real good. Real splendid. Okay. Super duper. With with that we should go on a lunch break. Thank you, I'm so hungry. I'm gonna go get my sushi. Ugh. All right, we'll be, we'll be back.
<clears throat> it's just rough because like to Gale, it's like everyone just seems to have a flagrant disregard for the law and the authority and it's just kind of like making a mockery of the provenance and uh his office and it's just it's 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 not an easy thing to it's not an easy thing to deal with the fact that your entire home and livelihood was blown up in one day that too that too. i think guards i think you could excuse the guards for acting a little aloof in light of that um it's 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 definitely hard to because it's like um they don't because to to Gale now they have no interest of in protecting the sit- the helpless citizens. And so he has a lot of disrespect for the guards now too. They'd much rather be prideful than help those around them. Maybe. All right, we all good? We all here? They're gonna rejoin. They're gonna join the the Blood Harbor Boys. The Blood Harbor Boys. <laughs> I can remake my crew. <laughs> One man at a time. Part of the ship. Part of the crew. I'm growing on them like a barnacle on their ass. That's not healthy. Maybe one day I'll do a, uh, like, a, an older, like, you know, true, like, fancy, you know, like, none of the Magitek or anything like that. So, like, before any of that stuff was made, we'll go real Eldritch. Maybe one day. Yo, I'm into it now. I might actually try and keep my bond up with these boys and call upon them. Oh, you got stuff in my head now, Ty. <laughs> the second you said Blood Harbor, boys, I'm like, huh? Yeah, that was the name of his crew, Blood Harbor. Out of count of Shar's nickname, Blood Harbor Ripper. He's a perfectly nice guy. I mean, look at him. Look at his Give us a smile. He's like, you right. see, like, fucking barnacles <laughs> on his teeth or some shit. <laughs> barnacles are his teeth. Ew. Mm-hmm. Okay. Time for the music to come back. Alright. I wanna chuck up a party song. Okay. So Yell doesn't get a chocobo. No. Delete. Just gotta emphasize that point. I do. <laughs> I'll get uh I'll get chaos to name his later. If, when I wild shape, do I get like the speed? I named my of uh the... I named my chocobo beast dandelion. Too? Chocobos or beasts? Yeah, do I if if I wild shape, do I get the speed of whatever I wild shape into? You cannot wild shape into a chocobo. I'm not I'm not asking to change into a chocobo. I'm just the question yeah, is you you gain the physical attributes but keep your mental attributes. Okay. Can I Which matters because there are so, certain transmogrifies that will change your intelligence too. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, I, as I said before, uh, so you guys are all loaded up on the carts. Are you just gonna go? Yep. Uh, I mean, our business here is done. I I'll I'm check gonna to make sure everyone's safe in the back and that the the hook it's hooked up rightly to my chocobo and. See how my chocobo's doing. Glares at you slightly, but you know, it seems to be <laughs> accepting. Like I said, now. I want a bird with a little grit on it. A little gristle. Bird, bird with some backbone could do well around these parts. <laughs> if Gale hears him, <laughs> he very blatantly ignores him. <laughs> Okay. So, uh, chocobos have a, a AC of 14 if they have their saddle on. If they do not have their saddle on, is 11. They have 70 hit points. They have, a speed, they have a speed of 80 feet, and they have a swim of 40. Wait. 
Uh, the passive perception should be a 15, not a 14. I'll change that. You say they have a swim speed of 40? Yes. That's, that's pretty insane. I can communicate to them, then. Oh, shit. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> what? Are they... The look into they, his eyes, you're a uh, sick-ass bird. Yeah, Chocobo's, Chocobo's swim? Is it innate swimming, though? Yeah. I can talk to my Chocobo. <laughs> Uh, but they they can swim on the sur they will not dive like more than a few feet underwater similar to like a duck <laughs> yeah, similar to a duck so yeah that is an example so like they'll they'll like dive under a few feet but they will not swim like completely underwater uh they have an athletics of plus six a perception of plus five they have dark vision out to 60 feet they have a passive perception of 15 they know chocobo they can understand common but cannot speak it they're a CR5 hmm. creature. They have advantage Jesus. on the, uh, perception checks that rely on sight. Their jump distances are doubled. Uh, they don't dive more than a few feet underwater. And they have two attacks. They have multi attack. attack. Nice. Yeah. Uh, as far as uh, out of combat travel speed, when they are on a cart, they move at 20 miles per hour. Without a cart, they move at 40. <laughs> <gasps> Damn. Okay. Um. I very, uh. Very directly, I just get on Char's cart. On Char? Yep. Because I'm, I'm not leaving the refugees alone with them. Well, not all of them are on that cart. That's okay, there are some of them. Okay. Because Char is. A Man, a ride, Gail. <laughs> I just look at Char. Don't remember saying you could, but that's fine enough. And I'm gonna go just focus on my chocobo for a minute and speak in its head. Okay. Speak in its head. It speak back to me. Um. Looks like you and me are gonna be together for a while. Fancy giving you a name. I'm gonna run it by you. How's Dandelion? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I thought you would. I used to have a choke his chocobo blushes. <laughs> I used to have a I used to have a vessel by that name. Powerful and true. I hope the same for you. Where is it now? Hold on. <laughs> as you as you say as you say I hope the same for you, it's sort of like just sort of like the leg muscle it just tenses up. You know, like, just sort of makes himself look, like, as big as it possibly can. I like to see. Yeah. And then this just unleashes a, a loud... Gil yeah. notices... Gil notices Char is chubby. <laughs> what? What the fuck? That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hey, things things are... Right things, it just feels like things are getting a little too intimate between him and his struggle over here. Hey, it's like my vessel. I'm proud of it. All right. Don't call him your vessel be... after I say that. <laughs> and I like I'll pat him on his on his head, and I'm like, all right, keep these boys safe, shall we? No, and I'll get back on the reins and then get ready to start going. All right. All... Yes. Uh, do I need to spend gold to summon a different familiar if I already have one summoned? If you wish to change your familiar's form, you need to cast a spell again. Okay. Otherwise, you don't. What familiar just, do you have? You just keep... I have a, a Paco. And it's... Looking at the attributes of the Chocobo, I think the Hawk is kind of worthless now. Oh. I was thinking of uh, summoning the Raven. <clears throat> Isn't significant. Why is the hawk worthless? Uh, I mean, the main reason I have the hawk is keen sight, which the chocobo has. Oh, but see, the chocobo has it from the ground. Yeah, the chocobos can't fly. <laughs> you can do everything else. <laughs> you can right, jump really high. They, they, fly. they can glide. But the the hawk the hawk can fly, and getting a bird's eye view on things makes checks like that a lot easier. Speaking I of, do take uh, that into consideration. The hawk's going to land on the cart. 
because he can't right. a- he can't actually keep up with the joke about <laughs> even at 20 miles per hour he can't no he only moves 60 feet damn oh like that's so speed that's in combat speed is what that is out of combat speed it travels it could travel at the same pace because uh-huh. it's flying what's my flight speed then uh, out of combat? Yeah. Uh, I'd say it'd be like, if you were to fly for an entire day, you'd probably go like maybe 30 miles. Ooh. Actually, uh, no, that's what is not your very far speed? at is all. 30? Yeah. Is your flight speed 30? No. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes, it is. If it is 30, then it wouldn't be any faster than walking. Okay. Depending on the terrain, <laughs> obviously. If you were yeah, flying across going... like... If you were flying, like, say, over the top of a forest, it would be way quicker than walking through the forest. Here on the grasslands, though, uh, if you were flying in a straight line towards a place, you wouldn't be much faster than the people walking on the ground. Okay. Basically, flight would just let you ignore difficult terrain. But regardless, after your training, the initiation of the chocobos, you've gained some of their trust... You were taught how to put on their saddles and to groom their feathers. As part of the training program, you're each given, uh, for the three chocobos, you each have a month's supply of Geishal greens. Alright. Uh, does that have a way to it? Uh, just, just put that you've got a month of greens. And you just have it in the cart. That's the best part. We have a cart now. Yeah. So Two carts. Put stuff and, on it. and plan on it, but here we are. <laughs> hey. Alright. Get this show on the road. Okay. Yep. Did Man, if all... I would if I would remember the thirty platinum I stole from that dead guy, I should have I could have bought another materia. I have a one more slot for materia. But then you probably wouldn't be able to afford a joke about it. Fair, yeah, no, fair point. I all didn't right. I did not know what I was gonna do if I did not have the money for the choke. Probably the murder group. again. <laughs> <laughs> the group takes off from the town. Nah, he ready to go that. Uh, from this point forward I would like to sh- save this as the DM I'm going to start taking away rations and things like that okay. from people's inventory so <laughs> y'all better remember be to eat I'm going to start doing that okay. up until this point you've been immune to hunger for the most part yeah, Truth be told, would... you've not really you've not really spent a lot of time outside of. To be fair, we had some rations, town. and then the truck died. Yes, but also most of your traveling with the truck was town rested in town rested in town rested in. You know, it's like you didn't really spend a lot of time camping in the wilds. Right. Kimiko's like Woo! just riding the chocobo around the town. <laughs> Because she doesn't have a card, so hers is going to be going a lot faster. Okay. But regardless, all of you take off. Heading west towards Veritas. Let's go! I'm prepared now. Excited, let's go. Got a fucking chocobo. Alright. The roads as you begin to head closer to Veritas become uh, more well-maintained. Am I able to do a to... long rest while we're traveling? On the back, I mean, it'll... Mm. I just I just want to get my spell slots back. No. Fuck. Too bumpy. You're too bumpy. Thank you. <laughs> nah, it's, a, it's unfortunately not comfortable enough of a... Uh, you would be unable to complete a long rest. Okay. Also, um, just because I don't feel like it's changed since I made the character, uh, 
Does my level and wisdom modifiers have anything to do with my wild shape charges? Wild shape charges are always uh, two or unlimited. Okay. And unlimited only comes at like capstone level. So you always have two. Uh, you get them back on short rests. All right, then I'll just do a short rest. I will let you have a short rest. Yeah. But it's, it's not comfortable enough to settle in for a sleep. Okay. Also, the people uh, I doubt the people riding it could get a sh riding the chocobos like handling them could get any kind of rest. No, I will also tell you this: uh, you cannot have long rests so quickly in chain after each other. Okay. What if uh, what Short if we got the uh, similar to that? Uh, what if we make our character have the uh, tribute of narcolepsy? I had a character that had narcolepsy. It was a P player character. His name was Lou. Why did you make him have narcolepsy? Because they wanted it. Lou? Oh! Oh! Oh, okay. You had a person who... Okay. Yeah. I thought you meant you made a character. There's a No, there was a player character that had narcolepsy. Okay. Narcolepsy is where you just fall asleep, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they had narcolepsy. They were a Kalashtar, which are basically dream humans. Huh. And she would fall asleep in the middle of combat. <laughs> uh, she fell asleep in the, in the middle of combat a couple times, and I told her that we're not going to have you fall asleep in combat anymore because it, it kind of it makes it a lot more difficult. <laughs> I, I, I think times. that's funny. That's hilarious. Uh, but she fell asleep. She would fall asleep in the middle of RPing with somebody as a character. It's like she would just. She would just fall asleep. Right. Okay. But all right. The group heads onward. Ever onwards. How far? Oh, man. You guys are going to get so damn far. Let's see. So 20 miles an hour. Oh, da, 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 da. oh yeah. All right. So you guys uh, get to the crossroads in a few hours. Just blazing a trail across this this landscape. 420 Blazer. I'm kind of curious if uh, Group Red's going to end up getting to a closer if they're just going to keep it up. They have the truck. Right. But yeah, that's I was going to say that if they want to keep it or not. Who can pass up a chocobo, but the car would be faster. Who can pass up a truck? I go back to steal Group Red's truck. Technically, <laughs> uh, the truck, if... Yes, it is faster, but it has a much lower. Like, if you drive it at full speed, it, it doesn't drive as as far. Uh, the truck yeah, was going to run at full speed thing. for much longer. So. Yeah, I was going to say. And with the whole ability to jump and glide, the terrain for a chocobo would be much easier than a truck. But regardless, you all arrive at the crossroads. It's about. Uh, Four in the afternoon. Do you wish to set up camp at the crossroads, uh, or do you wish to so much keep daylight. going? I'm just letting you guys. Know. I'll ask. I'll ask the people in the uh, the cart how they're doing. If they could, if they need rest, or could they keep going? Uh, they'll they'll say they they would like to probably take camp. Parts are a little uh, uncomfortable. All right, okay. I'll stop my, I'll stop my chocobo then. He'll help the refugees out of the cart, and I want to go look for some uh, plants. Okay, give me a perception check. Hold on, Bartholomew. Damn it, Bartholomew! <laughs> when I need you to look for plants. Your rolls are so bad today. They're bad yeah, every they really day. Are, Fortunately, dude. you find nothing that uh, would pique your interest. I give Bartholomew a pat on the head and tell him he's a good boy anyway. I am a good boy. <laughs> I'm going to have uh, myself and my hawk Ooh, can look I? around for anything suspicious. Okay. Such as, like... That's enough of that. It's enough of that theme. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough of that. No more chocobo theme. Um, that wasn't. 
I mean, are you, you uh, I like that advantage of hawk's this. eyes. Are you looking through your hawk's eyes? Uh, I mean, I I don't think it really makes a difference because if I'm doing it and then he's doing it, that's still two rolls, and one of them's getting nineteen. I mean, are you looking through your hawk's eyes? Sure. Okay. When you look through your hawk's eyes, you're blind at your location. Okay. But you're just you're seeing from a bird's eye view. Uh, the hawks is all is the hawks <laughs> plus one. What is the hawks? Uh, uh, perception. Perception. So you got plus. The plus four. Roll for the hawk. He should be advantaged though. Why? Because, yes. Uh, yeah, keen sight. sight. Yeah. God damn it! I lost it again. There it is. Ah. Okay, so um, you send your hawk up to fly around, and you kind of take a look around the area yourself first, just to make sure everything's good before you make yourself blind and begin to look through the eyes of the the hawk. Uh, around in the immediate area, you don't spy anything that would strike you as suspicious. You don't see any creatures. Uh, even like the hawk's eyesight is really great. You just you don't spot any signs of any activity of like bandits or creatures or anything like that. Uh, actually, I uh, you will notice this thing. Actually, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Uh, you notice that to the west there is a rising pillar of smoke. Oh no. I uh, take off my hawk goggles and uh, explain <laughs> to the people that it seems that the upcoming town appears to be burning. Uh, Kale, Kale snaps his head around. His neck breaks. <laughs> From an owl, damn it! Whoo! <laughs> uh, All right. Um. Shit. Uh. All right. I ask. Uh. I ask. Uh. Uh. Mortimer, if he'll uh, hold on to uh, Bartholomew, make sure he doesn't get hurt. Do you have a leash? He doesn't need a leash. He's a good boy. But I don't want to hold him. I don't have to, no, t just, <laughs> just keep him in the car and make sure he doesn't get hurt. That's what I mean. <laughs> okay, what's the fastest animal I can turn into? Uh, you can turn into nothing with a flying speed at the moment. Does, does, what's the fastest animal I can turn into? You. you you're fa he's saying you are faster than anything you could turn into. What, like, st I can't turn into a stag or, or a wolf or anything? You would be faster. Seems like 60 feet. I mean, yeah, they would be faster. Do you want to run towards it? I mean, if everyone's resting and the town's <laughs> burning. You, I have a chair. You, you're incredibly far away. Yeah. Mortimer, can we, can we go? I don't know. We I don't want to. It's burning! Come on! I'm just letting you know, like, you're. Jesus Christ! Mortimer, can we go? Let's go! No, 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 wait, not Mortimer. <laughs> Fuck, because then all the refugees are with Shark. God damn it! I could come with if you want. Ah! That's, that's <laughs> so rough, far away, that is. Oh my god. That is, it's... even if you were to cut the carts loose, is still multiple. It's five hours. Well, I don't want to stay here. Sitting around jawing about it isn't going to get us there faster. All right, all right. And I'll unhitch the the uh, unhitch the uh, cart. Tell the people I'll be back and tell the guards to keep everyone safe. I Ain't no guards, guards here. Anymore. 
previous guards. <laughs> I'm going to... Uh, I know they have no the obligation, but the... Refugees. I'm going to get them. I'm going to make them, like... I'm going to get pictures for them, make them genuine NPCs with names. By I, tell, I tell Bark Solomules that I'll yeah, be back. Yeah, you better write. I need to know my boy's name. <laughs> I uh, I tell Bark Solomule to be a good boy for Mortimer and that I'll be back. All right, Gail, hop on. I get, I get on. I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> I like, I like look back. I'm like, you make sure you hold on tight. This uh, chocobo kicks. I st- I was just like, just, just, let's go! I can't kick him, it's running. Okay. And, uh, are you holding on to me? I'm I'm holding on to the saddle. Okay, <laughs> alright. And we'll, uh, I'll tell the, uh, get the direction from Gay, and I'll start, and Jacob will start going. Alright. And in a flash of yellow, and a wave of wind, God like a bullet, you take off. Ah! Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, you blew up the town! <laughs> Mortimer, are you staying behind? Yeah, I'm just I'm setting okay. up camp with the refugees. They need to be kept safe. Alright. You set up camp with the refugees. Four hours go by. You know, an hour goes by. Another hour goes by. You know it seems like it's pretty far away. You can see things a lot further because of it being, you know, planes. I think I would like to look for some uh, plants. Okay. Gale seems Perception to have check. some fascination with plants. So I mean, I'm an alchemist. Oh, no. Okay. All right. So you kind of like, you know, as the you kind of help them out a little bit, but they seem to have it pretty under control. So you just kind of leave them to it. So you start looking around in the in the grass for any potential plants that kind of stick out. Uh, <clears throat> you find a particular clump of grass that smells really pungent and just kind of not quite rotting, but like really sour, like a really sour sort of milky smell. Alex, you can also use Bartholomew help too, because he has keen smell. I don't want him to smell that shit. <laughs> I mean, just in general. I don't think about it. You don't think about what? Using Bartholomew for it. Oh, okay. I still hate that mis- that spelling of Bartholomew. I love it. I do too. Yeah, you find what's some some grass that looks a little bit different than the rest, and it's got this really pungent sort of sour fla- uh, flavor smell. Can I roll a nature check see if I sure? Oh, I can... Ah, you believe this to be what is referred to as sour grass, and you know you simply know that it is an alchemical ingredient. Okay. As far as its uses go, you're not an alchemist, so you don't know. Um, would I know if I can pick it with safely? Yes, it's not uh, dangerous. Okay, then I'll, I'll grab some of that. Okay. You grab some of it, kind of having to uh, keep your, your nose sort of plugged. <laughs> <laughs> as you get close to it, it smells even worse. Uh, you manage to find two plant like sort of like clumps uh you realize that like as you start to like kind of pick it up it sort of grows in, like these weirdly odd rootish like the, the, there's clumps of roots and then with like several of these blades coming out of it but you manage to find two two of these uh pl- plants Ooh, stash that somewhere in a container of some sort probably a bag so I don't have okay. to smell it, but it's gonna fuck up the rest of my ship. That's fine, I'm doing a favor. <laughs> Alright. As a few more hours pass by, the it's starting to get dark out. The people, uh, the, the two uh, previous guard individuals, along with the people, are starting to rest in their tents. One of the guards is keeping watch. 
You see, uh, even at night when the sun's setting, like you can still just see this slight. You see that pillar of smoke rising. I'd set up my bedroll and uh, join, join the refugees. Okay. All right. Char and Gale. Five Wait. hours later. How are you doing back there, as Gale? You approach, just looking ahead with determination. As you approach the, the, the pillar of smoke, as you crest the top of a hill, you see a small farm town with uh, several of its buildings are currently on fire, and people are scrambling around trying to do their best to, to put it out. I, uh, I take flight so I can soar over the town and get a good look. All right. Give me a perception check. Fuck me! God damn it! All right, as you begin to fly up, kind of some of the smoke sort of gets in your eyes, and it makes it very difficult to to really see a whole bunch. So you you're not quite sure uh, of what's really all going on around right now. Okay. Can I get a little lower? Yeah. Okay. I get a little lower. Ooh, an arrow flies past your your head. Fuck me. All right. I get a little higher. I get a lot higher. Okay. Hold on. I gotta. I gotta get a picture of this. Thought I had it, but I I guess I didn't. Hold on. Hold up. Wait a minute. Put a little arrow in it. Hold keep the code going, by the way. Uh, oh, I guess you probably would have gone with them. Or yeah, could turn into a horse for us to ride. We're not sure. Uh, Gale. Uh, so Kimiko or... will have gone with with you guys as well. It could turn into a horse that we can ride. Yes, maybe. I don't know if I can yet. I don't know what I can. As, you, uh, as the creature <laughs> fires an arrow at you, you notice uh, as you look down, you notice that there are several other as, of these creatures as well, and they appear to be loading stuff onto a cart. Uh, with what appears to be a horse pulling it. Oh, they look like these. Oh, go, kill it with fire multiple it's times. Like, and then, yeah, <clears throat> some of them are sort of doing like this weird, like sort of cackling, like laugh. I hate no. Similar, similar to a hyena. All right. Um, I'm going to. Another one will shoot an arrow at you now. Um, <laughs> do I need to make any roll? No, just trying to shoot you. Uh, I'm going to turn into... Another arrow flies by. <clears throat> Oof. I'm going to turn into the uh, Constellation of the Archer. All right. And Do uh, I see them yet, by the way? Uh, yeah, I mean, you, could, you, uh, you see, like, Gale, what appears to be... He was flying over, and then he, as you were, you were getting a bit closer to the town as he was flying over, uh, Kimiko was coming up as well. But uh, you notice the you notice that he gets fired out a couple of times, and you 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 look where the arrows are coming from, and you see the the group of these creatures. Um, I'm going to then use um, a. Uh... A guided guiding bolt uh, and archer's arrow on the creature loading. Well, no, honestly, hmm. I'm gonna try to hit the part of the cart where the horse is attached to. Okay. So. All right. So you come within sixty feet. Yep. Uh, as you come within 60 feet, uh, 
a bunch of arrows are going to get shot at you. But we'll deal with that in a second. Uh, okay. You do manage to strike the cart with both of those. Okay. The guiding bolt uh, slams into it, splintering some of the wood, startling the horse, and uh, the arrow strikes in as well. Not doing some damage, but a very similar amount to the guiding bolt as well, but startles the horse regardless, and the horse just starts running with the cart attached to it. All right, I'll worry about that later. <laughs> some of the uh, the creatures were on the cart, and they start to run after it as well. However... Uh, do any of those hit you? Plus three on any of those, so... I think the 16 hits you, right? Yeah, the 16 does hit. Okay. So you're going to take some damage. Wait. Does Defender have priority? No. If then it matches two, you, if it meets or beats you, hit. you get hit. Two hit. Oh, two hit you. Okay. You take 11 points of damage as two arrows <laughs> hit into you. The other two miss. You hear uh, the sound of wood splintering and a number of people scream and a, a, lar a loud roar as a uh, Son. much larger Bitch. one of these creatures comes out of a, uh, a nearby barn and stomps on a person's head. Jesus killing... Christ! Holy fuck! Alright. And, uh, Runs towards its uh, group of uh, creatures. Runs towards this group of creatures and makes a noise, and uh, they all begin to retreat and run away. Oh shit! Can I like shoot at the legs of the big guy? Uh, yeah, you can. All right. I'm Could gonna... I fire as well? Sure. Guiding bolt, archer's arrow. All right. Uh, the guiding bolt will hit. Okay. Gonna short bow. Uh, no, I'm gonna Eldritch Blast. Oh, that hits. Hit it with the that narcotic shouldn't be. Yeah. All right. You both strike into it. Uh, the and creature... I will lance of lethargy him. He slows for a moment, but then keeps on running with his group. Uh, I'm gonna give chase. Oh, okay. I'll follow. I'll follow. As you begin to give chase, uh, the big one, when it gets uh, out of the city, stops on top of a hill and pulls out a big longbow. And pulls out an arrow and knocks it and gets ready to shoot at you, Gail. Okay. Uh, am I... Is that plus anything? That's that's what it rolled. It's 13. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Does yeah, it, it hit you? Yeah, it hits. Okay. We're down, boys! Has uh, Gale flying about 60... F Are you flying? Oh, God. Yeah, I was flying. Were you flying oh, no. at the... Yeah, I was um, flying. you were flying just at the bare minimum range of yes. your arrows. Okay, so you were 60 feet in the air then. Yeah. Oh. As Gale takes off and flies, you see the creature turn, pull out this big longbow, knock a large arrow, shoot it at Gale, and it just <laughs> hits him, and he just <laughs> falls. Can I try and catch... No. No. <laughs> no. I felt like with a chocobo speed, I might be able to try and catch him. But... How much health? That doesn't kill you, right? No, that I'm out. Yeah, but no, I'm saying, uh, so you're out. Right. You fall. Right. What's your HP? 23. Okay, okay. you're fine. That's good. If you take you more damage than die, you have. You don't die straight up. From falling. Okay. If you but if you you're already lose, knocked out and you take maximum, it. yeah, you take out, you take more you than your maximum lose, HP, you die straight yeah. up. Okay. Yeah. If you 
if you take your max HP in negative, you die. There's no saving throws. Okay, well, hold on a second. So I had 11, right? Uh, I had yeah. 11 before the arrow, right. so the thing hit me with 18. The, that makes it's, negative 7. It's in, it's in a single, it's in a single oh, okay. hit. All right. It's not... All right. It's not like stacking up. It's one hit. All right. So that 18 damage, like it dropped you below, but it doesn't matter because you went unconscious. Okay. So then it's just you're just at zero, and then the the fall damage. So, but you do have a death saving uh, throw failure. So you are dying okay. currently on the ground. And you just hear the uh, the large uh, creature just sort of laugh. And his weird dick. cackle, and then uh, bounds off after his uh, his warriors. Mm, okay, uh, I'm gonna stroll up to Galen. Uh, is this leisure stroll? <laughs> no, I was keeping my pace. If he was behind okay. me, I'm gonna turn around, head, I don't know, stop at him, and um. Okay. As you get over to him, I need you to give me another death save, Gail. Okay. That is a failure. But at this point, Char arrives. Great. Yeah, and I'll, uh, I'll pop a greater healing potion in his mouth. Okay. Just, like, look down at him. Saved you again, huh? He lets out this angry roll. What roll? Roll what? For roll HP. Uh, what's? How? How? What do I roll? Forty-four plus four. I want you to think about something, Gale. Look around you. Who's here? You and me. I'm gonna let you die. Gail's not. Gail isn't like listening. Gail like just lets out this angry guttural scream. Just absolutely frustrated at the fact that he couldn't stop this group of people from destroying this town either. You want to keep chasing him? I like put my hand out and like get him. Uh, like I'll put my hand out to like grab him to get him on the chocobo. Just smack his hand and go back to the town. Run back to the town. Try to salvage right. what he can. Uh, the since the creatures have left, the you know so there are quite a few dead people, but uh, they are putting out some of the fires and things like that. Trying to drag a few people out of the the burning wreckage of some houses. Like, are they dead, dead beyond saving? Or some of them are. Some of them are definitely dead, dead. Right. Some well, are I'm, injured. I'm gonna break out the healing spirit and I'm gonna run around. Okay. So you provide some a small amount of healing to some people. Uh, they they look it's like thank you, thank you so much. I asked them what they lost. Like, one of the persons who's like sort of like this stuff. Uh, it looks like he's been burnt, probably because he's been running into buildings trying to get people out of him. We don't know yet. Because he's just sort of breathing quite heavily. Those gnolls, they just they just came out of nowhere. Is this is this a recurring problem? Is this new? Because we heard Another one, the town to the south of here was attacked about a month ago. We thought we were safe, but yes, it's not. South. Which way did the gnolls run whenever they ran off? South. Uh, Alright, um, I'm just going to spend some time Helping put out fires and helping people, healing people. I tell Char that he can probably go back to him and Kimiko can go back to the camp and let them know what's going on and that maybe meet us halfway. 
Well, how do you how do you know? To, well, I guess if if you're gonna like start, start is it daytime again yet? Or is it still that? No, day? it's not even not even gone to sleep yet. Yeah. Or you are just now going to sleep. Yeah. Uh, I just I you just guys... bear in mind you only need to rest for eight hours, like so. You know, if you sleep at twelve, you wake up at eight. So so you know. I asked Shari and Kimiko to go back and tell Mortimer what's happened. Um, All right. They, well, Kimiko will. She helps out a little bit too, but uh, she helps with some of the heavy lifting. Really strong for such a little one. <laughs> but she'll uh, she'll go back as well. She's like, oh, but what if they attack the friends? And she'll go back. <laughs> It's in the gotta save the snakes. Doesn't she need sleep? I mean, it's probably she will like four hours ago. ride her chocobo back. I ride my chocobo all day long. I'll stay. Kimiko right. go to. All right, so we're putting out fires and shit. Put out I, fires. I will. I will help I as well. People out. It's you. You like you come you walk by as you're sort of like you help a couple of people like carry an injured person just away from all this mess to get them to some places. It's uh, just away from the fire and the wreckage. Uh, you walk by the uh, the corpse that the the big knoll stepped on. It's just it just makes you angry, Gail. <laughs> it makes it makes Gail very angry. But. Takes you guys a few hours. You can start to kind of work later on into the night. You need to give me constitution saves, please. Con save. Oh, Gail's ready. Gail's determined. He's going all night long. Me too? Yeah. So. You're oh. doing physically exhausting work, like oh. even later on into the night, so you don't need to sleep. You still need yeah. to rest. I didn't know I didn't know the <laughs> Yeah. The, the... Uh, you're both, you're both fine. Uh, Char barely gets it with that plus one. Uh, both of you, despite the the effort and the work that you're putting in right now, you manage to push through it and just keep on going all the way through till dawn the next day. You do feel tired, but you you manage at the moment to just stave off your exhaustion through just sheer determination. You save quite a help. You actually help save quite a few people. You save probably about maybe 20, 25 people from the fires. A few people's injuries are pretty bad. Some of them don't make it, but a lot of them do, thanks to Gail's healing with his spirit. And the guy who you had spoken to before, Gail, this sort of slightly burnt guy who had been running into buildings, right? After it's all kind of settled down, he's just like, Thank you so much for your help. And he, so both of you. Your nods. I can't express. I can't express my gratitude. I don't believe we have any coin. Really, we'd have to scrap something Gale, together. Gale but says we might no, be able to pay no, that's, you. no. I don't. We don't. We don't need payment. This is this is what sentinels do. You're hey. a sentinel. Your nods. Are you, you from this self, province? Gale. Uh, I am. I am a Dolvern. Dolvern sentinel. Uh, however, there oh. is no more dolphin. But we had we had heard news. That's right. You have my condolences. I can't imagine what that would feel like to lose literally everything with not a scrap left. He also says that uh, there there are there there is still left. There's there's the other towns in this province. You and your people and everyone else in this province that still need help. If you're, if you're willing to help, I think it's best you head to the, to the to the town to the south. Yo, nuts. I agree. I think they might have more information. They might know where these knolls are coming from. All right. Uh, uh, I uh, you, wonder though. He looks at Char. Do you wish to be? Paid, compensated for your help. Uh, I'll, I'll speak. I'll, 
I ain't as altruistic as a friend here. I will need something. Gale, and I'll, Gale I'll, walks I'll, away from this discussion. He just I'll pull him over to, I'll pull him over to the side and I'll, I'll ask him about some names. Let's and if he, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I will check my list. He's not on before. The list. That's fine. I will, <laughs> Gale I would be so it. fucking angry. Oh my god. <laughs> I will have, uh, I will ask him uh I will list off names and if he uh knows of any of them. Oh from your list? Yeah. Because okay. I can find him if I track him, but I can if I could get some information a general area that also helps. Because I can only track one at a time. So I can have an idea if you've seen him. I think it's fair. He doesn't want gold from people who probably don't got much left to their name. Because you kind of like, you list he off ain't a few a bastard. names. Ah, Dead thinks... don't need their gold living, do. Uh, there's... Uh... Jada... Jada... Proudhorn is a uh, tiefling. <laughs> she... <laughs> what? <laughs> Jada Proudhorn? Yes. <laughs> You're dissing this man's name in... That, that very clearly sounds like Jaina Proudmore. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. I don't, yeah, I was with you there, uh, though. I thought, I knew, though, that he wasn't even thinking about that. Oh, that's yeah, funny. Yeah, but that sounds just like a fucking name for Jaina Proudmore. I didn't know. I didn't even... Proudmore is her last name? Yeah. yeah. What the fuck? Jaina Proudmore. I thought it was just <laughs> Jaina. No last name. So, uh. She is a tiefling. She works, uh, with the leader of the province of Veritas. And is that where uh, he told Gale to go? No. no. Veritas is the big city. Now, it says that, uh, she always is basically like the right hand. Hold right. on. Hold on. Just, what did I do? Hold up. Wait a minute. Put a little what love. What did I do with my, what did I do with my list? I thought I made a handout for it. Didn't I make a handout for this, else? Uh, for what? For the rulers. Um... Oh, no, that's... I think you did, but I don't think it's a handout. I think it's in the, uh... I think it's in universe information? Or somewhere like that? Because uh, I remember... Not there. I, I do remember seeing this. Oh, no, I think you sent me, like, a list on Discord uh, ages maybe ago. I, maybe that's what I did. I thought I made a list. What did I do? do with it let's see let me go up through here and see if i can find it ah here it is uh so is this what you're ah, talking found about it. found it it was under a different folder for some reason yeah so the uh the leader of Veritas, uh, Nathalia Shadefire, she's a female tiefling. She has a, another female tiefling as her secretary, basically. Her right-hand woman. Uh, so I'll grow him. I'll give him So, questions. and the... Does, and, he'll be like, that... and I'm pretty sure the council's meeting uh, in, in... Oh, our... wait, so am I in Veritas's providence now, then? Yes. Okay. Ah, so so I'll, 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 give, I'll give him a couple questions. I'll be like, uh... How strong is she? Job. I. What do the people think of her? Really sure. I mean, the. Are you gonna form a coup? We've. Hey. She's not a big fan of the farmers. Oof. The working man. She's been convincing Lady Shadefire to put forth some laws and changes recently that don't benefit us very much and make things harder. I'm 
though I don't know if she's anything else. I, I don't. I'm not familiar with her ability to fight. So it looks like kind of confused. You have a bone to pick with her. No, not per se. It could uh, use her help with the whole refugee. Uh, see. I don't know, maybe she could help with the gnolls too. Quite far out of the way though. Uh so that's all I'll ask if he doesn't know any of None of none of the other names. Um well, well he, there are a few other names you say that are just like they don't have last names or anything like that on your thing, uh, on your list. But when he helpful. talks about them, they don't, they don't make you think of like they don't give you that feeling. They don't resonate with them. Yeah, they don't resonate with you when he talks about them. So you don't think the the people he knows from some of the other names that they're on. You don't think they're on your list. All right, that's all I needed. For your help. Get back on my chair. All right. I'm gonna. You're getting on your. I'm. I'm sticking around the town. I'll just wait for the group to come back. I'm just, just... waiting. Okay. I'm just waiting on my chocobo. You're waiting on your chocobo. I'm waiting on like I'm on my chocobo waiting for the group. Okay. Can I look around well, for like some look flowers? over Honestly, at Gail? Like, like we would pretty quickly start packing up and heading. In don't worry, Gail. Well, I got what I needed. Monsters. Gail just He's does monsters, not entertain that man. idea. In fact, Gail's not really sure what he means, so it kind of angers him a bit. Have they been dealt? <laughs> Sorry, no. They ran away, but they need help. Let's, let's get back over here. I uh. Kind of point to the. Car By the time here. she gets there, it's basically like you. You're basically waking up anyway. I, I'd point to the car and have uh, Kimiko kind of attach. Yeah, she'll she'll time. attach Char's cart to hers. Surprise, Gail! Well, not even a thank you to the man who saved your life. I, I turn to uh, the party. I turn to Shar, and I say, "It doesn't matter how many times you saved my life with all the lives you've probably taken." Uh, probably. It does take the party uh, some time. It takes them most of the day, actually. But luckily, they did we'll go to bed early, so they they get there. Oh, they get there around lunchtime. A little bit of extra pickup on the pace, but they arrive in the town. One of the uh, the uh, guards, one of the uh, I'm just gonna call them guards for now until I give them names. What the hell happened here? No, what's, no, what's happened? Nasty, nasty, oh. no. I think I heard about those. I like to run around in the plains. Surprised they're up this far, though. Well, we're going to be heading south to another town that they attacked, and when they got done with this town, they ran south, so wherever they're camped out at, probably down there. Yeah, it's just strange they come this far up. Usually they don't leave the beast lands. Not that far, at least. Well, that doesn't really matter much. They are here. We need to get rid of them. I'll ask about the Beastlands. What's that? Uh, the Beastlands is, uh... You got a map? Yeah. Do you? Oh, you don't. Oh, oh right. <laughs> I guess no, I don't really. really. <laughs> yeah, he says, yes, I'm it's like, let's see it. I'm sorry, I lied. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, I'm looking at a map right here, but that don't mean I have a map. Uh, he sort of, like, digs through his backpack. He's like, oh, I got... An older one, but I guess it's fine. He'll uh, sort of hold it out and roll and roll at some of it. He's just like, uh, it's just a, appears to be a map of Estalia. He points to a particular area down below Grey Tusk Crags, which is over here, this area. Well, 
all of this. Oh, man. He gestures to all of that. He says, that's the, that's the beast lands. It's basically anywhere you go south of Southshire, which is, which was like right over here, by the way. Everywhere south of that is pretty much just open country. Not a lot of, as far as I'm aware, there's not really very many towns. If any towns, these are the occasional brave soul who makes a house, but there's not a lot that goes on down that way. So there's a lot of monsters. They're really far if they come from there, then. I wonder if yeah. that part of the continent was attacked too. Driving them up here. Uh, I mean, maybe. As far as I'm aware, there's no major cities there. It's just all untamed land. Good place to set up a big but, camp. Yeah, maybe. If people need any more help, gestures to the town's fault. Is that a guard talking or? Yeah, it's one of the guards talking. Well, X guard, but yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna call them guards until <laughs> they have names. Well, are the are the citizens gonna talk? Oh, uh, he's asking you oh. if they need any help. I don't know. I've just been helping around. Their houses are burned. Their people are dead. They're probably hungry. Luckily for them, I'm an excellent cook. And he starts, he wanders off. Um, Eat a cook. I'm gonna go to. I want to go Perfect. to the leader <laughs> and uh, and uh, ask him if he has a place, uh, a modest place for us to bed down that won't inconvenience any of the people who are currently homeless. Uh, you try to find that guy who was talking to you? Yeah. Okay. Uh, he's like, ah, he, well, they burnt down the inn, and he gestures to the inn. <laughs> the church is where all of the, they have a small local church, it's where all of the, uh, survivors or like injured are you have a people without homes you have a non-burned down bar with non-burned hay in it uh one of the the guard who's with you i mean oh, i guess you probably went off by yourself yeah i did oh would you use the pumpkin she came out to say hello give a little drink uh, of water. i don't think we do actually i'm sorry that's fine uh, all right. I guess I'll just look around for a good place to set up camping areas, and there's probably lots of lots of wooden shrapnel and stuff to set up rudimentary tents. I mean, the 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 people that are with you, the refugees, have tents. I'm not going to take their tents. I'm just letting. What do you What do you need tents for? For me. <laughs> For her, for the people oh. who don't have tents. Oh, you need shelter for just yourself. Oh, you could easily find shelter for just yourself. Oh, I mean, there's a place you could like. I mean, I care about finding shelter for Mortimer and Kimiko too. Yeah. Kimiko has the box. Oh, okay, Kimiko's box. Well, then Mortimer needs shelter too. Char's is a big boy. He can he can figure it out. All right. I mean, yeah, you could find. I mean, it's not the best in the world, but it's at least something that keeps like the rain off the top of your head. Right, and it's not I, like I don't want to like impede on anyone else who's using that because you know. no, it's basically like an awning that they have set up made out of wood and stuff that's just for like the storage of hay and things like that. All right, that works. It's not I go the best uh, in the world. I'm gonna but go it's find Mortimer rain. and tell him that uh, I found a place for us to bend down, And tell him about the plan about heading heading south to take out Knowles and help the other town struck by Knowles. Ask him if he wants to come with me. He's not obligated to. I know he's heading to Aramore, and I should be heading there too, but... Where is this? Down south. It's another farm town south down the south road. I'll put, I'll put it back up. This town. There's probably not going to be anything in it for you, but if you want help, 
Uh, do I hear any of this, by the way? Uh, I, 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 I kind of in I just, a general area. Well, they were I in danger. Their, their town was attacked was by gnolls close. before this town. And uh, the gnolls had headed back south when they ran from this from this, uh, this town. Uh, Mortimer, it's, it's very likely that these gnolls have been taking shit from people for a long time. So, and it would be of great importance they probably, to get it back to them as well. Probably have a lot of treasure to sit on. Lots of treasure uh, that could help these I'll towns rebuild. Whatever you guys want. We do have some important business to get down on, though. Well, people's lives hey, are I'll make sure they. I'll yeah, make sure they'll get their stuff back as much as they can. But you don't work for free. Um, well, I don't work. I asked the I asked the owner of the town if there's any way they can transport the guards and uh, Dolvern refugees to Veritas. So it looks around. We we don't have right. much. I know you don't have much, but just, and do you I mean, think they're there's... they're welcome to stay here for a time? Alright. I uh, stay here while we one, take care of, and then I'll come back who, for you guys. Uh, the one guard who went off to cook is currently sort of like a soup line. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Take care of this, and I'll come back for you. Sit tight. Keep these people safe. Keep yourself safe. Uh, I asked uh, the, the head of the guard tower. will, uh, Oh, what are you asking? Uh, I asked him if he can take care of Bartholomew while I'm gone. Well, I'm really, uh, I'm certainly really concerned uh, about that pit. Yeah, I mean, he's he's not a, he doesn't he doesn't stay he's not he's not a strong boy. So I mean, uh, does he listen? Oh, he's he's the best he's the bestest boy. You let oh. die. I sure, I uh. And, uh... Perhaps it'd be good to have him for watch. Never, you know, might be able to alert us ahead of time in case they come back. Do I have any more slots to tell Bartholomew? Okay. Do just tell it. I I tell Bartholomew to to stay and and listen to what this man tells him to do. It affirms you with a bark. Oh, I, I kiss his oh, snout. Woo. I kiss his snout good. Dude, Dude that's a lot of fucking face. spells. What's a lot of spells? This looks like he's a druid. Oh. He has his own <laughs> list. <laughs> I have a fucking oh. huge amount of spells. He he licks you across the face. Boy. Mm, pets. Okay. Uh, um, uh, the other guard will, uh, if you want, I could come with you. I tell him, no, uh, I'd rather him be with the refugees. Uh, he might not be a guard, he might not be my guard anymore, might not be a Dolvern guard anymore, but at least he has some amount of training that could be useful to keeping them safe. Fair enough. I'll keep watch here. Don't die out there. Looks at both. Looks at all of you. No promises. Probably wouldn't have to get some <laughs> rest up first. Yeah, I was about. I was about to say that I'm gonna go around and make sure everyone's okay before bedding so down. So now our sleep schedules are all discombobulated. Oh yeah, no, it's fucked. It's <laughs> <laughs> so uh, if you, ever you if... could either push forward, both Char and Gail could like push forward through the lack of the long rest, or you no. Could... I'm... Take the long rest and I'm uh like I said, just just checking around, making sure the refugees are okay. If no one needs anything, in real I'm, going life, to bed. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be able to get to sleep, but I'm in game I'm, I guess this <laughs> would join them. Well rest. Well you're not no, you you can't go to sleep. It's not been long. It's not what? It's not been long. We just have okay. yeah. You can't do you can't consecutive have. rest. Well yeah, you can't. Just like you, you couldn't do in real life. And then long rest and then long rest. Like you can't do that. Uh, 
It's called like time scale. Oh. Yeah, so, do you guys want to wait for Gale to, you know, take his rest and Shara to take a rest, or do you want to press on towards the southern town and just take a rest along the way? Maybe? Well, I mean, Shara and Gale need the rest now, like, so I don't think it's a good idea to leave the town without taking a rest, so we should probably wait until we all rest again. Okay. Like, Gale's you definitely just proceed in a rush, to... but go around the town, help out, and right. things like that, until right. it's time to go to sleep again. That's that's my thought process, yeah. Okay. Alright. So that's what you guys do. You just kind of help out around the town, doing whatever it is you wish to do uh, throughout the day, until it gets to the time when you feel like you need to really go to sleep again. And you do so. So long rest comes through, and the exhaustion, uh, I don't think anybody had any exhaustion, but spells, HP, all that stuff is reset. I'm going to call the session here. Really? We have like a whole another hour. Uh, because I've not been able to have as much prep time this week, so I am behind on certain things. Mm. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, we can end it there and maybe we'll pick up something. Also, uh, Chaos is in here, so. Right. Oh, he's never here. Uh, then uh, we'll, we'll uh, end the stream here for now, and maybe I'll pick up something later on in the day. So, uh, but for now, bye stream. Bye. -bye. bye.